Good evening, 47. Прости, Джо в сделку не входил. Поклянись, что все, что ты сказал про цикад, правда. Зараза. Летя в гребаное небо, ты думал, что схватил судьбу за вертневую жопу. Закончи то, что начал. Наша жизнь прекрасна, брат. Вот бы она не менялась. И никогда не меняла нас. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Kentucky Plaza Heist. Supposed to transform your life, wasn't it? Mark the beginning of the end instead, huh? Both the Emperor and a lowly Haywood Pond met their maker that day. While you got a relic to the brain. Meaning that experimental Arasaka biochip. And who was on it? Enter yours truly, Johnny Silverhand. Fucking pleased to meet ya. Thing is, relics now devouring your mind bit by bit. Voodoo boys used you as bait. Alt can't do a damn thing to help you. And you're still dying. Know you want to save your ass, V, but remember, survival's got its price. Up to you whether you're willing to pay it, friend. V? Can you hear me? Um, uh, loud and clear, whoever you are. Good, it worked. My name is Somi. Just call me Songwood, though. I know who you are, know your situation, your problem. And I can save your life. Very funny. This is a prank. Not in the mood, if so. It's anything but. You must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course, shortly. But first, I need you to get to that swollen appendix of Night City called Dogtown. Dogtown? City within Night City. Know of clans who tried to establish footholds on the black market there. Never managed to stake any claims, hell. Some plane never made it back. Fair mistake. One you won't repeat. Fine. No clue what I'm stepping into, but no risk, no reward. Thank you. I appreciate this, truly. Dogtown's main gate. Be there as soon as you can. I'll make contact again then. Huh. This is one elaborate haze. Or a fucking lifeline. Suspect who just fled into Dogtown. And I give zero shits. Back up to the city line, pork chops. These zones outside your beat. Come on, Sarah. No point, let's roll. Fuck! She's getting away. It's Dogtown. Let her go. Listen to your partner. Talking a lot of sense. You know what? Fuck yourself. Fuck your your hands are. Back to the point of the brain. Rule two. No. What you got in the back? The usual. Implant boxes. Zeta Tech. Like 
Someone shoved my head in the place. Be ah! You're gonna be okay. Breathe deep. Count to ten. Recite a mantra. Whatever brings calm helps you stabilize. Your nervous system took a big hit. Broke down. Racing heart, cold sweat. It'll pass. Ugh! You got it. no fucking idea, lady. Actually, I do. I know about the bomb ticking in your head. If I could disarm it now, I would in a heartbeat. You'll feel better any second now. V something stinks here. Think she's she's fucking with the relic. How in the all true, Johnny. But don't you fret. They're both safe. Nah, fuck both off. Both of us on the biochip protocol at once can trigger shots for V, like you just saw now. Gotta cut you off. What? For your safety, for V. Had to meet him for now. He hears you fine, just can't talk back. Starting to put two and two together. You gotta be a netrunner. Damn good one at that. Guilty as charged. Hopped on the Relic's cognitive protocol to dial in. I see and hear what you do. Just now, I am on board Space Force One, sitting right across from Rosalind Myers, President of the new United States of America. The President? Fuck. <laughs> I... No. You're not joking. Dead serious, yes. The plane's been hacked. Trajectory set for Night City. They'll bring us down to Dogtown soon. Our comms are down, most likely jammed. The relic was my only option. Right now, you're our one contact on the ground. Telling me the NUS president, Rosalind Myers, is there with you. Sitting right across from me. She knows the situation. Waiting for your yes. Plane got hacked, right? You're a runner. Can't override? I could. All I need is 24 hours, the right setup, and a bottomless pot of coffee. None of that's available just now. Heavy shit. Am I really your one contact? You're my last and only hope. The President's life, her safety, that's your top priority. She'll survive the landing. Dogtown, not so sure. You'll need to get her out of the plane before anyone else does. Said you could help me. That the plain truth? Just got a taste of my abilities, I believe. There's more. I can cure you. Once and for all. I can't know how much I'd really love to believe you, but... I know, V. You've hit a dead end. Nowhere to turn. Been there. Believe me. Consider this, uh, an advance. Your relic's crowded with clusters of corrupted data. I'm done with that. Making room for stuff that'll actually be handy. Such as? Some pre militech combat stuff. It's just lying around, gathering dust. Militech firmware. <laughs> my, my. Solid soft. Well, a cushy government gig like mine just comes with all kinds of perks. Now listen, what I gave you is a skeleton soft, but the firmware's fancy. It'll learn, grow with you. It'll improve if you feed it data. Combat analyses, logs of legendary ops, shit that make the NCPD piss its boots. Look around Dogtown. Gotta get there first. Main entrance is a no-go. You don't have an entry pass and I don't have time to produce a fake. You'll slip in the back way, quiet as you can. We really don't need anyone spotting you, scanning you. Guess so. After you. I'll be right beside you, as much as I can. This is Kurt Hanley. You are now in downtown. Garage. There, past the fence. See it? 
Smugglers used to use it. Now it's your turn. Try to sneak in. Maybe distract the guards. I don't know. Something. In you go. Look for a net access point. Jack in that, and I'll be able to help you. You should be one level lower. Eyes peeled. Look for a way down. Now, look for a maintenance room. Bet anything you'll find a power source inside. Something on. Nice V. Exactly what we need. Okay, we're up. Perfect. Bridging systems now. Hmm. Ancient. No, proto ancient protocols. Largely corrupted data. Give me a sec. Need to ping one of our sats. Let's see which active Dogtown network links to this infrastructure. And putting in a back door. Ready to roll. Hang on. Okay. Roll a cag first. Then you slap the muzzle on Johnny. Now you bring some pile of scrap metal back to life? Serious trickery all. Who taught you? B, I'm an NUS intelligence analyst. Trained under the best peeps in the biz. And they took me on because around age 13, I got the local ripper to sell me a beat of old deck. Barely left an end since. I got noticed. The rest is history. Got a feeling stories incomplete. Likely longer. More twisted. <laughs> My thing. Apologize up front for the quarry, but I gotta ask. Compeki Plaza Heist. Why? Compeki was pure ambition. Sometimes you hit a rut in life. Wanna blaze your way out. Do something you'll be remembered for. Set my sights too high, I guess. Yeah, I know the feeling. But ambition, confidence, they're not bad in themselves. No. A human soul can be. Maybe. You need to hang tight for a sec. By the way, must have gotten old by now. All in a faded rocker boy around. Strikes me as tiring. Not a Silverhand fan, are you? Please. Samurai was done by their second album. President Myers wishes you the best of luck. <laughs> nice. Tell Madam President I said, uh... Hey. He got it. I laid out the details of our plan. Typical Rosalind. Keep me apprised, she says calmly. Just sitting there. Sipping her gin, looking through her agenda, postponing meets. Woman's unshakable. Metro, huh? Reminds me of when I was starting out. I'd look for places like this. Set up a power bypass, jack in. Essentially steal my way onto the net. Grab the riskiest gigs I could buy. Learn them as I went. The hard way, usually. But sometimes, a few times, I really pulled off coups. 
Anything I'd find on BBS Gossip Feeds? Hmm. Biotechnica in 63 or 4. Fermentation facility in Oregon. Off the grid hack. Sound familiar? No shit, that was you? Only the best reached that eye. Talking Spider Murphy. Bart Moss. Songbird? Nah. Nick's not setting off buzzers. If I'd wanted fame, I'd have gone rocker. You'll be in Dogtown in a minute. Try to steer clear of Hanson Scootens. Speaking of Kurt Hanson, what else do you know about him? Hanson was an officer. Militech. Tail end of the Unification War, his unit was tasked with taking Night City. They managed to secure a foothold in the southmost pocket and... stuck around. Refused to demobilize, laid down their weapons, found in Dogtown instead. Traded one conflict for another, basically. Hot or cold, no better way to make a buck than war. the stairs through storage. You should pop into the market. Get your ammo! Assault rifles! Tactical gear! Mm, too tame? Scare what we got in the back! your ammo, assault rifles, tactical gear. Hmm, too tame? Scan what we got in the back. This is Kurt Hansen. If you're hearing this, you've come to the right place. NCPD, gang wars, not in Dogtown. Taxes, who the fuck needs them? In Dogtown, I keep your business safe. As long as you abide by my rules. Sound fair to you? I thought so. Good. V, um, been meaning to ask. How bad is it for you? Clock's ticking. And fast. Relic will finish me. Sooner rather than later. But you're here. Looking for a means to survive. Still fighting. Think you'd do anything for another chance? Can't deny it. Chin up. We're in this together. There is that. Aren't those drones fuzzing around? Turns out I will be staying at the Soviet. Good? You set? Fuck, dog! Think Hanson's personal protection takes five minutes and a handshake to lock down? Shake, don't sh... All right. Time you got up on the roof. The hell for? For the view. And I'm not being coy here. I mean, you'll see where we land, literally.
problem after problem. You keep breaking shit. I keep sputtering on his last feeble legs. <laughs> or you hack rough and the hardware don't like it. Finally, pop in. Elevator's roofbound. FYI, we're about to cross into Night City airspace. President's holding up? Well, she's calmly, coolly securing her documents. Third or fourth time, though, so I'm clearly not the only one who's stressed. You made it. Good. How's the sitch on board? Stable, but tension's rising. Unsurprisingly. See that? It's us. Space Force One. We're descending. In for a rough... Oh, fuck. What? What's going on? <laughs> Determined. You need to hurry. What then? Got a plan? Find Myers, get her to Liz Crestry. It'll be the safest spot in Dogtown right now. Right. I'll be in touch. Godspeed, B. Shoot, we got NUS agents there, not both. Oh! See the hatch? 
Aircraft. Anyone alive? Nobody jumping out to greet me. Shit! Are we too late? Pretty quiet in here. Like, tomb quiet. That's true, then. We need to be sure. Need confirmation she's dead. Keep moving back. You'll see a safe room. I'll pop the release on the door. Relax. Songbird sent me. And you are? Name's V. Apologies. I had to be sure it was really you. Right. Let's still <laughs> Fucking hell. Ugh, damn it! They just won't let up! Songbird, you there? V, how's the cinch? We're alive, both of us. Now listen, head for the vacant building on- Elizabeth Chris, got it. <laughs> Give me some credit. It's the best place to lay low. No heat signatures, so it's empty. Not a soul inside. Now get moving. Got Songbird on comms. She's fine. Found us a safe house nearby, too. Songbird. That started to worry. I suppose I forgot she always lands on her feet. A crazy luck, both of you. Huh. Maybe you brought it with you. Nightmare. My people dead. All of them. Because of me. Whoa, whoa. Kurt Hansen killed them. Not you. <sighs> Is that what you think? You have no idea how deep this goes. We were hacked. It means Hansen had help. From Washington. The NUS government is aware of the crash, no doubt. They'll have sat mapped it, seen us hit the ground in Dogtown. Unless... Unless the plot goes deeper. Hansen spreading his agitprop lies as we speak. I'm sure of it. Our people will have an even harder time crossing the border. I can't trust a soul. I just... Fuck! I don't know what to do. Understanding concerns. Don't forget, you got me here, though. You? And Songbird. We'll get you out of this mess. Thank you, V. We stick to the plan. After that, guess we'll see. Wait a second. Damn it! If Hansen's got someone inside in Washington, that means I'm traceable. Wherever, whenever. I have a subdermal tracker. It needs to go ASAP. 
It's near an artery that's best not nicked. I'll need your help. Chipping the prayers with a tracker? Weird. Safety precaution. In case I ever wanted to ditch the White House, go on an all-night bender. Can you help? Assume you know what you're doing. Be completely on your own without the tracker. Well, if you're here. Almost a rite of passage. Feel like I'm welcoming you into the clan. Ugh. Ugh, a clan? Quite the career change you've made. Ugh. Wait, is that... Drone? Finish up, quick. Cover now! Stay that way. You need to get to the top of the building. Talk later. Got Songbird on comms. Says we gotta climb higher. Lead the way. It's your city, after all. Kurt's hounds have caught your scent. You need to move. Delta time. Let's go. We'll ask our guardian angel if she can get this elevator moving. All's okay, your end? Where are you operating from? Well, not from a cool, comfy ice bath. God knows what I get for that now. I'm nearby, though. Just had to find a new nest, or they would have found me. Elevator could use a runner's touch, Song. Already on it. Uh huh. Sorry, V. My magic's no good here. What we need's power. There's a maintenance shaft with a fuse box nearby. Follow the scaffolding. It says I need to turn the lights back on. Might take a minute. Fine, I'll keep my head down. It's running. Do you think it'll work? Lousy place to get stuck. Just one way to find out. What's the probability a random passerby noticed a moving elevator in an abandoned hotel? <sighs> right. Leave the analytics to Songbird. Little fuckers are fidgety. Sharp sensors on those. If they've sensed us already, the place will be swarming in no time. President and the Drone Whisperer. One picks up things in the army, in spite of oneself. There's only one surefire way to get past this model. Move fast. Surefire sounds plain ominous. Running's hardly a plan, but I got nothing better. Hold. Drone on your left. I touch it, I give away your position. Something best avoided. Restaurant. Subnet access point in there. If you jack in, I can inject some fake hostile readings. Send the drones chasing after geese. Doable. I think we'd do best to sneak past them. Now, ready up. Lazy fuckers expect the drone to do all the work. Now's your chance to slip out. Tiptoes recommended. Search the area, secure the perimeter. On it. Oh, four wheels, two seats. A taker.
control safely. Stay on your toes. Uh, all right. Seek to a radio frequency. Hear me okay? Loud and clear, Sammy. Would you care to tell me what the fuck is going on? We have a plan we need to stick to. Elizabeth Cross Street. That's where you need to go. The streets are too high, so you need to go underground. Like new. We'll take old metro tunnels. Find the nearest station beneath an abandoned expo hall. Got it. Scumbags won't let up. Lose them before accessing the garage. <sighs> that could have been worse. We better even. Outpost. Let's go around. Yo, patrol! What the fuck's going on? Waiting on a sick. Yeah, my guts, we're gone. That's it. Return Good to base. Good thing you grabbed the wheel. Looks clear. Finally. Nice change. Dogtown. What a joke. Did you all loot this place? You all? First time I'm here. Likewise. And if I never make it back, it'll be too soon. It's like a kind of museum. A museum of wishful thinking. Where the rich bought and sold so many unfulfilled dreams. No need to delay. So quiet I can hear my crone creak. Quiet's a good sign. You think so? I generally prefer lively places. Feel free to ask her about those exhibits. Really wonder what she'll say. Songbird, got a sitch. Can you jimmy the door? On it. Oh, the lock jammed. Gotta brute force it, B. Time to roll up your sleeves. No need. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Head for the elevator, just across the room. Huh. One of Hansen's warehouses, it seems. Gotta find an elevator. Other side of the room. Okay, here goes. V, do you hear that? Shit! Bastard's caught up to us again. Songbird. Hey, bad news this time. Hansen's dogs caught your scent. Assault incoming. They must have geolocated the car you jacked. What now? Got a surprise for our guests. Making the final adjustments now. Enemy in range! You can visit for a sec. Need that. Myers. Here. I'm out of that prototype from Militech Staples. Holy shit! 
Bird? What's with you? What the hell is going on, V? Dunno. Song's having a fit or something. Bitch went haywire! For fuck's sake, Zumi! Slap a muzzle on the thing! This way! Quick! Through here! Do you have a death wish? Over here! <sighs> on your feet! Run! You're not dying on me today. Nope. Guess not. Right. Good. I think I might have cracked a rib. That's all? <laughs> You'll walk it off. Uh, can't stay here. Are you mobile?
Rust and piss, shitbot! Nicely done! Good fucking rings. Safeguarding the nation. My ass. Yeah. Close call, that. <laughs> Good teamwork. And luck. A pile of luck, V. Grab what you can, and let's head out. There has to be an exit here, somewhere. Так, а это что? Good stuff. I just hope this won't be a dead end. Songbird said to keep to the tunnels all the way to Elizabeth Crest Street. Any chatter from her? Zero. Dead quiet. Still. Not good. Come on! Blech! Got a hatch here. Could we jump, maybe? Hold up, V. Let's pause. Think for a sec. What's eating you? I don't like this. Can you try calling so me again? Okay, gonna give it a shot. Vita Songbird. Starting to worry us, girl. Song, are you there? No answer, huh? Guess you got me and only me. Long time no see, Johnny. You all good? Me? <laughs> Should be asking about Songbird. So? Did you reach her? Nothing. No response. Shit. What happened back there? With So May? Something was off, for sure. Could say she got hit with a demon. Maybe tripped a defense protocol on the Chimera's ice. Could say? Mm-hmm. If Songbird was a cookie cutter runner. Both know she's not, though. Damn fucking straight. Uh, but who knows? Whole thing was a clusterfuck. You know, no net run comes without a burn risk. No. Impossible. Somi's had occasional off moments lately. Temporary slumps. But I'm sure she's headed where we're headed. Same destination she gave us. It's the reasonable thing to do. Right. Reasonable. Girl's gonna have a hell of a hangover. If she wakes up. Unamused. Not the time for jokes, Johnny. Being dead serious. Felt like I was underwater. Leagues down. Tried to surface, but this suffocating, sucking sound pulled me back in. Then when she lost control of the Chimera, the water turned into fucking boiling tar. Seems the sitch spiraled out of control. Amen to that. Though actually could have been a straight overload. Seen runners caught in those. Shit's ugly. So, can we move on? We're heading southwest now. Feels like we're circling back. Yeah, saw so mentioned an abandoned building. Place to lie low. No heat sick. Should be relatively safe. I pray you're right, Somi.
pushable, you think? Could use a little help. Of course. Oh! A damn fork? Well, we didn't account for this. Which way now? Thoughts? Hmm. Let's try this way. Looks promising. Cameras? Here? Henson's a military man. He loves control. So good. welded to that seat. Funny how she has her own street in Night City of all places. That jealousy I'm detecting? Please. Jealous of what? Oh! Not now! V, are you- oh, One sec! It'll pass. Oh. See? Better already. What's the matter? Are you hurt? It's nothing, really. V, please. I have a highly honed nose for bullshit. Got a experimental Arasaka biochip in my brain. It's killing me, literally. So me says she might have a solution. Wait, you're talking about the relic. That'd be the one. A secretive text someone stole from Arasaka. On the day Saburo lost his battle with mortality, no less. Bingo. So that's how she could reach you. It also goes a long way toward explaining the nature of your deal. I appreciate the candor. Seems it's all for one and one for all, if we're to survive. Expecting more trouble? Tonight? I expect nothing but. It's best to be prepared for any contingency. Okay, this is us, safe. Great place for an ambush. Hopefully, no one else thinks so. Fucking black. Where are you, so me? Huh. Guess we got here first. Seems so. I'll have to sit tight. Though I assume I'd rather not sit in the dark. Power would be useful. We could also get the radio up and running. What? Can't miss our daily dose of fear mongering? We need to know the situation on the ground. I'm gonna change out of this mess. High time. Change. Into those filthy old rags. These filthy old rags won't be smeared all over every TV and terminal screen in the city. Unlike my presidential best. Have a look around. I'll join you in a minute. Check this, V. Attempted postmodern art. More like a home-cooked generator. Maybe we kickstart it. Literally. Uh-huh. Old Thornton engine pretty run down. 
little bit of chew left, too. If the fuel's not degraded, it could actually run. But can't start it. Not without a power source. Sure, but seeing as we got a lull in the lead pouring down on us. Listen, got a bad vibe about this. You? You? Bad vibes? Oh, big surprise. Songbird, S-tier netrunner, promises a panacea, a cure-all, then gets wiped off the map. Myers, shady politico, got a dagger thrown at her back all the way from Washington. Who by and why? Fuck if we know. Oh, plus Kurt Hansen and this fucking Sam launcher. Just preem. Got this hot itchy feeling in my groin. Like someone's not fessed up to something. Huh. Saying Songbird didn't give us the full picture. Our mystery girl. Usually love a bit of hard to get, but trust me. Rarely ends well. Well, not like we had time to really chat. Spent most of it running. SF1, run, Chimera, run again. It's just... Nah. Uh, got some questions for the chick. Hope we get a chance to ask him. Anyway, let's get this power sitch sorted. Should do the trick by my eye. Fire it up. Fingers crossed. There it goes. And the maze balls. Look what I found. What do you say? There's more in the fridge. Feel free. You earned it. Just earn yourself a vote, Madam President. Are you even registered? Housewarming gift from Songbird, maybe? Wouldn't it be wonderful? And circling back to Night City, speculative chatter continues tonight around the downed passenger craft. And U.S. representatives claim President Rosalind Myers was aboard when catastrophe struck. City officials have yet to release any statement. However, one all-too-familiar figure did decide to speak out. Kurt Hansen, the self-proclaimed leader of Dogtown, called a press conference earlier today to offer his take on the situation. I'm being framed, isn't it obvious? The NUSA's been out for my blood for years. Now I'm not without flaws. But another thing I'm not is suicidal. An attempt on the life of the head of the NUSA? What transpired in Dogtown is no trivial matter. I urge you all to consider the true motives behind this spectacle. The NUSA will take any excuse it can get to send forces into Dogtown. And will they stop there? <laughs> no. You, good people of Night City, are next in the fucking line. Shit. Mark my Fuck words. This. Troglodyte's clever. Maybe too clever for his own good. Pull to the shit. Nobody's buying that. Oh, they're buying it, all right. Reporters even talking to him is the first sign. Night City's public enemy number one, given a full press spread. What a fucking joke. Some mysterious party's out to trigger war. An attempt on my life's a damn good case of spell eye. Gotta let Washington know you're alive, ASAP. Ah, call Washington without knowing who'll answer, friend or foe. Or should I go outside? Give Hanson snipers a big thumbs up. No, V. Neither's an option. 
Hear that? Footsteps. Songbird? Maybe. Can't be sure, though. It's our lucky day, Chumba. A penthouse with a view of the Cite. And lights that work. Well, this doesn't feel right. That never does with you, does it? Fucking killjoy. You want an angle on Hanson's airdrops? You got it. V, we need to eliminate them. Come on, man. Let's have a look around. I'll be damned. Wait. Wanna try talking first? I hope you know what you're doing. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. Back the hell up! That's better. Weapons! Now! What the fuck? I won't say it again. Yo, 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 chill. Just looking for a place to hold up for the night. This one's taken, clearly. Told you. So I see. This, the uh, presidential suite. Shit. Word is, they a bounty on the head of Rosalind Myers. What are we gonna do about that? Come on, guys. Let's figure something out. We don't want any problems. Iron in my face, say otherwise. This iron will stay silent, so long as you do. Now that's an idea. But our silence ain't come cheap, yeah? Whoa. Pump the brakes, man. Not now, Tay. I was negotiating. Do you remember negotiating with Hanson? What happened? Not now. You negotiated with Hanson? What was that about? Not... Small misunderstanding. They machete this leg off. You motherfucker. Was a conflict of interest. Colonel Dipshit don't appreciate motivated entrepreneurs like myself. Now my question is, what can you offer us that's better? You lost you? Last I checked, we're in Dogtown. Don't tell me it's you two against the town here. One little misstep, and you're scop. Would you rather die in Dogtown, or find yourself a nice place across the city line? Your choice. Jacob. Hmm. And what's that supposed to look like exactly? There's enough space for four. Should be easy to stay out of each other's way. But if any uninvited guests arrive, we'll be counting on you to stand with us. This is your chance. There won't be another. Shit. But it might could be our last. You got a deal, Madam Prez. And... Want me a Rayfield? Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Any model in particular? Shit, my ass will fit them all the same. Tell me where you want it parked. Will do. So long as your bodyguard don't slit our throats come nighttime. Well, V, do you plan to slit these two gentlemen's throats? All depends on you, Chooms. Gonna have my eye on you. Likewise, Choom. Well, all fucking right. We got us a deal. I like to celebrate new Chooms by tossing back a few. But T and I got to be sharp. Airdrops come morning. Gotta get up early. Same here. Come on, V. It's been a hell of a long day. Watch the master and learn, T. Watch and learn. You're gonna get us killed one of these days. Maybe. But at least you'll kick it with a smile on your face and your balls in the right place. Looking for someone. Asian-American woman, about 30. Seen anyone like that? Well, it doesn't ring a bell. But shit, <laughs> you can't ask her to meet at a bar like a normal chum? You pull the night shift? Well, we could call it my part of the deal. And an old habit from the Badlands. Badlands, my old stomping ground. Which family you in? None now. I took an exit ramp off the road your life. How come? I sold my people out to the Raffins. Fourteen family dead in an ambush at Tipton Peak. Heard enough? 
own family. How do you even look yourself in the mirror? What mirror? This is all I got. Sup, V? Shoot some shit with me? And spill it, my man. Working for the press. What's it like? Feds probably pay stacks, yeah? I don't work for Myers. Call it a one-time thing. Do you shit in the storm drain and call it a toilet? Don't believe me if you want. So you a merc? Well, damn, you hit the jackpot. Uh-huh. Living the dream. Anyway, you made a wise choice for an overnight. Safe, out of the way. It's even got work and power. Mentioned airdrops before. What's that about? It's like this. Colonel Hansen runs a big market, but he's landlocked, right? Gotta get his shipments in somehow. Talking iron, ammo, meds, fucking anything. All falling out of the sky and into Kurt's lap. Now, if you know where and when to look, might fall into your lap instead. Feel me? Telling me fighters keepers? Clepping from Kurt? It's kid stuff. Trickle down economics, I call it. So, one thing I don't get, building's safe, right? So why is it a total ghost town? Right. <laughs> See, well, that's because it's haunted. You ain't never heard the stories, dog. Jacob. It's true. A lot of peeps died here. Mysterious circumstances. Like an aneurysm, each and every one. One time, 12 runners they found. All their brains fried. Hansen closed the house down banned entry. And the colonel's word means lots more than some turrets and shit. Folks know to stay away. So what are we still doing here? Cause fuck them, that's what. And fuck urban legends. Finally. My legs are Killing me. Come on, take a breather. Still nothing from So Me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. But not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. Let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. <laughs> See you in the morning, V. She's on the balcony. Help yourself to some coffee. I made it fresh. She's not here. Means she's not coming. You seen the swarms Hansen has out hunting? Might have nabbed her. Possibility. 
one that concerns me the most. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could I still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, no, we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hanson's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. I gotta be away. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out to of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Gotta talk backup plan. Not a plan. A man. The kind we need. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and so me were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. What now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Reed, what's going on? Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Okay, seems doable. And I prefer discretion to destruction. I trust that's clear. Uh-huh. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. The file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. But taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? A coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Seems we're on the same side. Can't hurt. Ugh, V. Repeat after me. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. You know what? Change my mind. Formalities aren't really my thing. Hmm. I see. They're half my job, so trust me. I get it. Welcome to the FIA. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. Where's Jacob? Fresh airdrop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see. Supposed to go to the local Capitan Caliente. Know the place? <laughs> it's not my top choice for hair of the dog. But it closed down. The business went under and the owner chose the rope. Hey. Made the right call not taking that fascist ass oath. Oh yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to, V. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Cause with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once a corpo jarhead, right? 
practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Gotta hand it to you, V. Wiser than I was back in the day. See that crazy color smoke? Yep, wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. Don't wanna climb, or you're not telling me something? You think I'm finna parkour up on one leg? Thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing. Caution. Hands? <laughs> Sheesh. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart. Where the real deals are done. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. Shop local. Shop with Ronald Ronnie the Ronster. Best prices in Dogtown. Certified resale. I'll be damned. A real live customer. <laughs> what can I get you? Man of biz you are, so let's cut a deal. I slip you a few heads. You tell me how to slip inside. You paying for trouble. But okay. Don't ever bail on Eddie's, huh? <laughs> the new <clears throat> owners? They're draining power from down the road. Check the cables on the wall. Sure to connect somewhere. Tinker around, reset the power. Bet your security trinkets just might go dark. Sounds promising. Capitan Caliente. Guide clearly went down with this place. Stash house by the looks of it. Tak, što ona stud? Antique. Junky variety. Wonder if it even works. Oh, 
Come on. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Reed? Listen. Got no time to play games. Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flopped the number. What the fuck do we do now? A friend. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do. A three-point dunk ain't even hot. Game needs some damn rule changes. A piece of the plane smashed into our kitchen. You believe that? What? Best seats in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? Hasn't you? You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. Felt the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storm's what's brewing. Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse. Armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. <gasps> the dauntless Johnny Silverhand, scourge of megacorps. Here we go. Vanquisher of hypocrisy, bolted from the army. Give this man his fucking encore. Gog who enlisted was Robert John Linder. Got roped in with easy cash, promise of fame, glory. Linder snuffed it. Was a different kid who crawled home from the front. Johnny, I... I didn't mean to... It's okay. It was a long time ago. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. <laughs> Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. <laughs> the moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value <laughs> stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Get what I'm trying- Sounds like you got some shit to work through. You gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military <gasps> runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Ah. Uh. Hans, what you holding? the hell's breathing down my neck how the fuck should i know only see what you see i see you holding something show me got this token mean anything to you but i need to make sure keeps his cards close this one who sent you Rosalind. i don't know any rosalind and neither do you got a pro spy here v is she safe Last time I saw her, she was. I can only hope that's still the case. Right. Right. Were you followed? 
Did you even bother to check? Doubt I was tailed. So you didn't, Jim. I see you still got a ways to go. We'll work with what we got. Black Thought and Merrimack on the street. Three minutes. Front seat. That it? Interrogation over? Already? We're starting to have fun. Read. Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. You ready to find out? Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Chun's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Al biz. Actually, I am. Though, just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. An arresting profile. Snowman. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Nor? So me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Actually... Look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob, he owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. FIA special agent, bouncing away time at a club. Job attracts ex-cops and commandos too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. Uh, this is not... No tale. So that was a fucking lie? Damn it! Hansen's goons! Here we go! followed you. Which means they may have already found Myers. Might have tagged me off a metro camp feed. They're not damnedest to stay off the streets. If so, good idea, poor execution. Here's hoping we're not too late now. Beat us 
here. Fucking preen. Follow close behind. Hansel's gangoons. Must have spotted you. Tracks you left. We need to take those fools down and hope we're not too late. Some things never change. What? Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Oh, shit. Should've wiped those camera recordings. My bad. A mistake. Happens to everyone. Let's hope we can correct it. tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Open up, it's me. Is this how you greet me? Uh... Sorry. Roslyn, are you alright? I'm fine. But I heard shots. Jacob and Taylor. They tried to defend. We arrived too late. Shit. <sighs> hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Here. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Has a spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard So Me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Post-crash, Songbird vanished. Said she'd meet us here, and has given no sign of life since. So what do you think happened? We have no idea. We're treating her as MIA. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has Myers told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. 
went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough? To get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi. And my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head, slowly, surely poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. Alright, I need to make some calls. Back in town. What's your status? Our special delivery all good? No delays? Shipped. First leg by sea, then by air. Civilian craft both. But it got to its destination fast and undamaged. Any developments here? My status? No real change, I suppose. To the side we got down to work. Gotta find out missing frack. Had another pair of eyes. Alex, former team member. She's in Dogtown, under deep cover. She'll help out. Roger that. Got an address? Longshore Stacks, the dive bar called the Moth. After sundown, yeah? Got it. And sense is trained on any potential shadows. If you want my advice, I dump that pile of human offal. See how he likes being alone. Yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, better get going. Take care. Chin up, sweetkins. Seeing sunshine round the bend. Just don't you let those bastards walk over you. What'll it be, honey buns? Surprise me. Adventurous. How special coming up? Maybe you're at the bar. Sure am. Waiting for you. I'll be there momentarily. There's, uh, one thing you should know. Okay, what did that be? You know that op seven years back that went south? 
my eyes left me for dead. Cover story was I sold out to Arasaka. I never told Alex it was a cover. So, things could get tense. You and Alex, two of you were close. I let our cell in the NC was a handler. She wound up stuck here in Dogtown post-war. Thinks it was because I turned code. Do you see what I'm driving at? Got it. My tell is to go fuck ourselves. Something like that. I'm nearing the entrance. And there you are. Enjoy, honey bunch. Thanks. First time in here. I got that right? You new to Dogtown? Oh, hell no. I'm looking for an Alex. Like fuck you are. So, she not here? You're on the awfully short list of folks we just don't serve here. Turn the fuck around and get I'll out. I have a gin and tonic. Make it a double. He's with me. You've got some balls. All right, my people. We gotta close up for the day. I ain't going fucking anywhere. Come on. You serious? Everyone out! Now! Alex. Seven! Seven fucking years in this shithole! Cause of you, Solomon Reed! Holy... Saul ain't getting it. Maybe you will. Myers sent us. Got a mission in Dogtown. With him? FYI, seven years ago, this scumbag stabbed everybody in the back. No, seven years ago, I was ordered to go to ground. And you were fed a cover story. I had to take the fall. There was no other way. Expect me to believe you? Just like that? Get the fuck out of my sight, both of you. Look, whatever happened between you two is none of my biz. Got direct orders from the president. Right now, that's all you need to care about. I cared. Cared for seven years. <sighs> but now? It's all right. Take a moment. Fuck this. Need a smoke. Should be fucking ashamed, Saul. The hell was that? Did... Did she just shapeshift? Metatropic cloaking. Perks of the FIA Militech connection. Get to call dibs on their latest gen, cutting edge tech. Could get tense, he said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try this. Give me a minute. You're gonna talk to her. Someone's gotta. And better me than you. Couldn't wait till I was done. Could spit and read drink if it'll make you feel any better. <laughs> He'd know. Old dog, but senses sharp as ever. Even spit wouldn't make it past him. <laughs> so NUSA is tossing us back into the fray, huh? New mission? Yeah, afraid so. Well, fire away. Serenade me. You. Right now. 
Am I looking at the real Alex? What's it to you? I mean, what's the diff? Nobody who's anybody cares about the real Alex. What if I do? Then it's solely your problem. Now, about the mission. Spill. FIA agent went missing. Reed and I are tasked with finding her. And all of a sudden, FIA remembers I exist. You know Dogtown better than any other operative in their ranks. Their ranks? So you're not FIA. Curious. What leverage they had on you. Deal's just for this one op, then I'm out. <laughs> Wouldn't count on brevity. Me? One in the same mission for the last seven fucking years. Been working the local arms and tech dealers since the war. My one op, that. Going real swell. Well, I got less time than that. Always starts the same way. Do them a favor, they promise one in return. Sometimes even deliver. Then one day, they nail your dick to the wall. This op mean that much to you? Cause you're clearly hoping to get something out of it. Question is what? FIA and me, we're after the same runner. Interest aligned, so you're looking at Agent V now. Right. And the chair jock is? Songbird. <sighs> Fuck me. Gonna take more than one sig to process that. Something the matter? Ah, so you don't know. Know what? Story of a clusterfuck op. One that led to Reed disappearing and me being holed up here for seven years. Here's the list of operatives. Reed, Songbird, and me. Haven't heard this, have you? <laughs> That's just perfect. Tell me you believe in coincidences? Or, fuck it, fate? Cause plug the same variables into an equation, and surprise! Gonna get the same fucking result. Shit in, shit out. <sighs> well, you and that hangdog Judas are in luck. Cause I got a nasty habit of repeating the same gonk mistakes. Got conditions, though. You in a position to have any? Still on their payroll. Don't care. Tell Saul I'm done letting everyone walk all over me, expecting me to lick their boots. Way I see it, this is a favor I'm doing, a transaction. Want my back scratched in return. So what's your ask? Monaco. Wanna burn rubber along the Riviera? Drink champagne on a yacht with a fucking duchess. Want a spy's retirement. Diplomatic posting in a warm, gobsmackingly gorgeous place where fruit off the trees is sweet and demand for field work is zero. Think you can manage that? Reed will take you to Monte Carlo himself if that's what you want. Preem. Go back inside, tell him I'm in. Gonna need more nicotine before I look at his face again. Thanks, Alex. So? Didn't tell me the whole story, Reed. That's twice now. But it's taken care of. She'll do it. In exchange for? Once a spy's retirement. Someplace nice. But if you ask me, she's itching to get closure after what went down between you two. So, heard you need someone to hold your hand, Reed. Take you on a tour of NC's asswart. I came to you because I trust you, Alex. 
If you say so. Fine. Songbird. Heard we got a sniffer out. Song's MIA. Probably here in Dogtown. We were linked. Comms like. Song ventured into cyberspace, then got attacked. She vanished just after. That's all we know. We need a net runner. Kind of spends all their waking hours parsing teraflops of data. Might have caught something. You have someone in mind? Wilkie Slider Laguerre. I should have figured. Went rogue a while back, but I know where that little rat nests. Slider, care to fill me in? Renegade voodoo boy, murderer turned CI, all around piece of shit. Outside the net, he's blinder than three mice. Damaged occipital lobe. Not even a Kuroshi could mend it. Think this guy will be willing to help? Slider? Don't hold your breath. Classic repeat offender, no scruples or principles. Had a titty twist him to work for us. Likely this time you'll just have to twist a little harder. How's an intel agency lose a blind man? Hold himself up with Haitian buddies. Operates a large-scale tech and demon mill. Think Kabuki's home to Night City's soft sorcerers? <laughs> no. They're just there to push product. Claims Slider dropped off your radar, went rogue. But you know where he is. Why haven't you brought him in? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I was saving him for a rainy fucking day. Slider wasn't on my list of prios. Not like it's any of your biz. So, we paying him a visit? Slider hides out in a would-be spa in Luxor Heights. Flick you exact cords in two secs. Or we'll rendezvous there. Alex and I have some, uh, catching up to do. <laughs> right. Just, uh, don't gouge each other's eyes out. Need both of you alive and healthy. special about it fitting isn't it how the prettiest thing here in dog shit town is a monument to the dead still don't get this gonk affinity for symbols and empty gestures you're just buttered because nobody ever lit a candle for you shit maybe i am as sentimental as everyone else when I see those two, Reed, Alex, went through something similar myself. Johnny Silverhand, empathizing with total randos. See it clear as day. Any shred of friendship they've got left will fizzle out. Not right now, but soon. Could have spilled the truth years ago, stayed tuned, but no. Stubborn old Reed had his orders. Not mutually exclusive, friendship and duty. Matter of fact, they are. Had good reasons to fly the army, Coop. Think, how many times you willing to get burned before you stop trusting someone? There are points to all this? Replace someone with country or corp. How many times you gotta take a bullet for these motherfuckers in the name of empty promises? Chew on that when you look at those two. You haven't been waiting long, I hope. Well... Guess you and Alex needed a while to catch up. Hmm, yeah. All swell now, though. Let's go. Time's at a premium.
They posted lookouts. Go figure. I doubt they'll play nice and just let us in. Easy peasy, I say. Crack some skulls and roll in. I'd rather avoid a mess. But if that's the option you want... Gotta be another way in. Let's look around. I spotted the shaft on our way in. We just need to find a vent, crawl through to the other side, and open the door. I'll hang back on lookout, cover you if need be. See a door. Ventilation system might be behind it. It's worth a try. At the hatch. Scale the scaffolding to find it. Хераси. Me kisa saye. Yo go gara kembe. We tickle your nerve ending till you scream. Turn back! Easy now. This link to the main server, which gives me an idea. Get ready for some lead spitting. Now, V. Got nowhere to run. We did it. Their choice when they opened up at us. <laughs> Fuck me. Solomon Reed. I would be lying if I said I have missed you. And you? You brought death to Mama Bridget. <laughs> Will that be your gift for me as well? Heard about me? How? Me. My temple. We are one. My eyes and ears are everywhere. This isn't a temple. It's a malicious demon mill. And you're no priest. You're a two-bit bandit and murderer. Murderer? Ha! It takes one to know one. So, what will it be? Will you put me down like you did that bitch, Bridget? The gnome. Don't know you yet, Slider. I am called many things. Wilkie Lager, the blind fury of the cyberspace. A dawn in the NUSA's fat ass. Take your pick. Yeah, you forgot to add double murderer and all around coward. We're here to negotiate, Slider. Cut a deal. If one party is backed into a corner, it is not negotiation. It is extortion. You say tomato, I say fucking deal with it, Slider. Now, cut the shit and do us the courtesy of hearing us out. No love lost between you two, huh? Those who speak to Reed have a strange habit of vanishing or committing suicide. But since you are partners, you must know that by now. Speak your piece. 
Need some intel. Street says you're the one to get it. Me? <laughs> I am a blind man. I see nothing, know nothing. Cyberspace is my only field of vision. Well, just so happens what we need is one who knows cyberspace. Sees lots in it. Donc, dim ça. What specifically do you want from me? Just like that? No haggling? I already know this scar. The Langley men send a clear message. Soon after SF-1 crashed, a runner was attacked while on the net. Attack severed our link. Need to locate her stat. Ah, so you want one to investigate net traffic on the day of the crash? Got a malfunctioning relic in my skull. So I should make contact. That help any? Hmm. Perhaps. I will need a peek at this trinket in your head. Well, okay, I guess. I will be gentle, this I promise. Keep your eyes on him, Reed. I am blind, not deaf. Let us see what we have here. I see traces, bursts of data in cyberspace, the wake of someone's passage. Who dare they mad? This I do not believe. You out of your mind coming to me with this shit. I think Slide had just happened on you hanging out in my head. Nah, this is something else. What you see? The black wall. It bring only death. Specific, Slider. The woman. Did you know she used the Black Wall protocol to connect with you? I had no idea, no. Now you do. What's that mean for us? For what we need? How to explain to Lehman? The net has layers, various vectors for translocation. But there is one thing that must not be touched. The black wall. The woman? She is walking, ticking bomb, megatons. She go boom, everybody fucked in the ass. Every last one. Miwa Noa. It is a dam that protects us, the civilized world, from the strange bets of the cyber wilderness. If your two leg bomb crack the dam down the middle, it will unleash a flood. Wipe us off the map, just like Haiti. That why you and the Pacific of Voodoo's don't see eye to eye? Because they're poking holes in the black wall? They do not penetrate. Only jerk off next to it. Let watch try to keep them in check. But you have to be caught in the first place to want to stick your gigit into a live wire outlet. To the AIs, past the black wall, you are no more than a cockroach, a rabbit, a fragment of outdated code with no meaning. This why Netwatch flatline any who put integrity of black wall at risk. There's no laughing matter, my friend. It is a concern for the safety of all. That's why you, my friend, need to restore V's connection to our girl. You are out of your mind. Well, now you're part of this madness, too. Welcome to the shit show. More D. Non negotiable, Slider. We need to find her. Besides, as long as she's out there, they catch her scent, they catch yours now, too. They'll set their wirehead freaks on to you and your people. So, you'll help me clean this up, cover all tracks, 
snip any threads leading back to you and consequently us. Do that, and we'll be square. You'll be off the FIA's hook, too. <sighs> Meld, it's my lucky day. Ever done anything like this before? What? Be the bridge between hosts using the Blackwall protocol? What the fuck do you think, eh? Confirm the data transfer before I change my mind. Here we go. Exactly safe. Not exactly. That's clear. Listen, babe. Don't have much time. Hanson's people tracked me down after I res the Chimera. I've been detained. I'm not in any danger. Not as long as I behave. Do what I'm told. I need more help. Des. Slider, what's going on? Something's not right, man. Ah! Fucking black water. Uh, black Sapphire Bay. Hanson's hosting a huge shindig there. Crash it on the sly. I'll find you. Make sure to tell me. I have a little set about me. Fuck. Jack of Ari. Unplug slider! Now! It's over. You short sucked. Slider. You flatlined because of us. Flatline, period. Need you to come clean. Were you gonna off him no matter what? Questions moot. Slide is dead. What's done is done. So, Songbird, what's up with her? Got the link back up. We spoke. She's fine, mostly. Needs our help, but she's fine. In one piece. Alright. Give me the deets later. Come on, let's delta her out of here. Could be more of Slider's lackeys looking around. Take it easy, Slider. What did Songbird tell you? Seem glad that you and I have teamed up. Good. It means she trusts you. Anything else? Song needs our help, Reed. Hansen's nabbed her, holding her, for reasons. God damn it. I can't imagine any worse news than that. Black Sapphire. Said Hansen's throwing a big bash there. We get in, she'll find us. Any idea what and where the Sapphire is? Over there. See the tall of the two scrapers? Next to the one with the big ass green. That's the Black Sapphire. A would-be hotel ended up a failed multi-billion eddy investment. Hansa's fortress, smack in the middle of Dogtown. We can't just barge in. 
Doubt we have anyone on the inside or affiliated who could crack open a door either. Alex and I will pull some strings, run our contacts. We do the same. You know, think of who you know around here. Maybe it won't happen on an idea, find a way. No local fixer. Goes by Mr. Hands. Could ring him. Do it. We'll be in touch. Hands. Need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Conpecky Plaza. Surely there's some way in. <sighs> Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek, the Black Sapphire plans will be yours. Think you can make this a quickie? It's I window I'm working with. If you want a smooth deal, the cogs must be greased. Bring me grease, V. Can't just bribe someone? Money. So pedestrian when you think about it. Reputation, information, favors. These are worth their weight in gold. Heavier even than their owner's hearts. Alas, none remain for purchase at the Black Sapphire. Hansen had all the weak of heart purged using a lighter element. Lead. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. Auf Wiedersehen. V. A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown, until I receive word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their sig. Go to the scab's nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. You, over here. <laughs> Was that you shooting up the place? I almost feel sorry for them. Almost. Let me guess. Zeta take higher. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. Like, say, a prototype and some schematics, huh? They might have locked me up, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hassan Demir. Zeta Tech Engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. How'd you get caught with your pants down? Zeta Tech didn't map the route? It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. <laughs> Only language scavs speak is brute force. Think you forgot Dogtown ain't Night City. Noted. Now, I have a proposition. Get me out, and I help you find the tech. Yes? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs, M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. 
In retrospect, it does seem uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gonk you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, unless Zeta Tech forced him into it, made a guinea pig out of it. Prototech's capricious, erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? Why all the drama over some measly implant? Some implant? Measly? Please, this design is a potential Kiroshi buster. <clears throat> we at the firm learned some Santo Domingo riffraff stole it from Arasaka Industrial Park. Naturally, we investigated. I was to conclude the sale at the stadium. Hush hush, not so much as a beep on Arasaka's radar. And well, here I am. Here's an idea. I go in there, yank that chrome out of your skull, and hit the road. I'll tell you what I told those savages. There is no way to extract it short of a ripper dock. You yank, it's ruined. Prototype's all I need. It's condition, whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security? If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Right. Back in a nanosec. I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there, forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way then. And no gonk moves. Jesus! Is that... Harry, the man was a real prick, but this, it's barbaric. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Nearly burned here. Ah. Right, right. This is it. It's got to be here. Somewhere. Found it! Prem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. Wait. I heard you slaughtering them. Which means so did half of Longshore. This place is about to be swarming with scavs. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. It's time we were on our way. Couple more steps. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Hassan, keep it together. Now to disable the bridge. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh. Wow. 
Weren't lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Should be safe here. Ah, <sighs> I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty-handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh... I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh... I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Docktown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. Why are you so hell-bent on clepping this tech? Do you even have the faintest idea how much it's worth? Oh, more in your life, right? Ah, I have no family, no friends. I gave my life to the corporation. <laughs> the sacrifices I made. And for what? What life? The bastards stole it. The money from the prototype would have afforded me a fresh start. How'd you imagine playing a Megacorp? <laughs> Must have had some kind of plan. I did, though I couldn't do it all on my own. I arranged a buyer at Dogtown Stadium. We would have met, were it not for these savages. Buyer could have hazed you, though. True. So I had the prototype implanted. It became my bargaining chip. He knew he couldn't harm me without jeopardizing the tech. I was to vanish during the convoy's inspection at the border. I arranged an unmarked car, bribed the guards, but then the ambush, well... Wait, how in the hell do you think that was gonna go? I tell my fixer, sorry, shit out of luck, prototype bounced. Just say it got lost, moved, I don't know. I cut the signal. Your fixer can have the schematics. They're just as valuable. You conniving and fuck. Should have schemed a little harder before you squirmed into a Sokka Zeta scavenger shit witch. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Okay. You and me. Never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics. Prototype went AWOL. We clear? You... really? Yes. Understood. I... thank you. Now I Delta. You find a big-ass rock, crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff, you're dead. Right. Okay. Sly bastard bamboozled the corp and you in the process. Do nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. V. A little birdie chirped that you retrieved Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say? Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly... a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring the compensation now. How's the dressing? Still dry? Stitches on in place? It hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. <sighs> we'll all rot without Anderson anyway. Odell Blanco? Name's V. 
Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scavs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? No, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Now well, that we haven't tried. <laughs> so what? You're Anderson's right hand? Not a physician, if that's what you mean. I provide spiritual comfort. How's that going for you? The patients, they're afraid. If something happens to Anderson, they'll have nowhere to go. This place used to be a church? Yes, mine. But these days, few seek absolution, while many more need transfusions or fresh implants. At least you're still helping them. True. <laughs> Where's a priest to confess? Thought Hanson's goons kept the Dogtown gangs at bay. Scavs must have struck a deal with Bennett. You know, Hanson's lieutenant here in the MDO. What, a bar guest salary don't cover the bills? As the good book says, a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise. Bennett's not even that. What do the Scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. The scavs still let you look after the patients. In a sense. Then Nico ordered them to take us all outside. Nobody's allowed in. Said it was between her and Anthony. She doesn't want anyone killed. Hmm. Or anyone talking later. Scavs got all the doors covered. Made one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Chill. Gun down. Let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here. Alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Thought about switching up your game. That iron's not making much of an impact. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ugh, what the fuck? <laughs> You! Merc! Help me! One shot too many, Scav. Finally! You couldn't have done that from the start? Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. You know, could have handled this gig yourself. Just had to tell the truth. The truth? The truth is her brother was a junkie with a prognosis of hopeless to death. But no, she wasn't interested in that truth. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Wait, the door, someone's there. I thought you dealt with the scabs. Not all of them, clearly. Well, what are you waiting for? Remove them. Once it's clear, tell Odell he's to get back to work.
premium work, V. I offered to send a hand to remove all those scavenger remains, but Anderson declined. Something about taking a look at them first. I can only assume he's in shock. The funds are being transferred as we speak. Your job is finished. CPD officers are in need of rescue, and who but you could save those sworn to protect us. Now, these two little piggies went to market, struck a deal with one of Hanson's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, you think? Correct. Everything. Stella, the fiancé of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. Psst. Get in. Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. Wouldn't it be easier to just move the car? Folding the seats might not cut it. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. Need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade-A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. So you, Bill, and Charlie are all badges with a whole precinct full of badge tombs at your back, but instead you call a merc. Dodger's not exactly a legit businessman. Can't call dispatch for this. They'll crucify us. So Bill's your fiance, Charlie's his partner. What else can you tell me about him? Bill. Bill's a good guy, but Charlie? He's like the big older brother that gets you into all kinds of shit. Okay, so we don't like Charlie. Look, Night City's turned all of us into who we are, but Charlie? He's a fucking magnet for trouble. Always has been. It's bad. Nothing else. It's really bad, Stella. Please get help. I love you. <laughs> Sweet of him, but not really what I was after. When I asked what happened, he said it was too complicated for a quick hollow. Why's Dodger got you all shaking at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hanson. Total psycho, too. Moved to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. It's V, here to help you guys out. Finally! Bill's losing his fucking mind over here. 
Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing! Little help! Better step back. Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Who's your friend? Uh, who, me? Just told you, I'm Bill. Thanks, Bill. Got that. No, I mean the dead fucking body on the table you somehow failed to mention to Stella. We, we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we, we swear. Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Better take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one Plan who set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You say drugs? Oh, you go! No, you! I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could've had a food tube implant? Like a deep, wide throat? Yeah, like the one your mom's got. Why Fuck you even that? talking no about, sense. Bill. Fuck if I know. It's not like he made a list of pros and cons. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just... croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke, why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, alright? Shit happens. <sighs> this... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right. Let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh... Kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. I'll still Always value you. Only if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. Know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Our squad cars right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Chill, Chum. Got them right here. Roger. Oh, fuck. Would you look at that? 
A welcoming party. How thoughtful. Greetings, fellas. Oh, am I early? We... Uh, we can explain. Quiet. You I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Got hired by these two to help. Oh, <laughs> they look like they could use a hand, all right. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us! Per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um... Uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. After that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so... It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? Done playing games. Mind if we skip to the part where we try to zero each other? Thought you'd never ask. Oh, oh you're fuck now! Everything! Uh. Hey, where are the badges when you need them? Uh, yeah, right behind you. Is it over? Yup, nothing left but hop in your ride, flee the scene. Sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So are we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in, tell them we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella on the hobby first. So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? Let me put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Hey, oh, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. Now, I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't... Your father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain, the elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence, my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done.
Working with bona fide professionals. Positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hansen sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. Interest you in some tea? It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So... How did this combat zone become Docktown? Do you know? Let's table politics for now, huh? Go straight to biz. Business? Hmm. Of course. The Black Sapphire. Hanson stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and Say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire info and blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hens. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess, more local Politico gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, Someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. Reed, got the data shard from hands. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Set it through. No worries. This connection is secure. Catch. It's on its way. 
And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the Moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. Every day, the time I have left is evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. Wow, rough. No shit. Death's breathing down my neck. Always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. Where I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed. But I was sold out part of a deal, a peace offering, my head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I'm going to show you something. Hang on. They set you up, yet here you are working for him again. Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned, 
Mr. Hood got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple of us just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for our soccer agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away, let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Out of everyone. It was somber they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> pull the trigger as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here, in this very room, in fact. She was guiding me on comms, led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me, her last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. You're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. On the focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my is is a whole nother story, but Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good, let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person, Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out over reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Nah, I always feel like I got a stick up my ass. Ouch. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Afraid it ain't up for debate. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. Toxic how, exactly? Hmm, from suspect waste, some sewage leak too. Don't worry, suit's pissing shit-proof. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnel's here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end, jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. 
You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. Before you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. It'd be an honor. That reminds me. Hans, what did he want in return for the favor he did us? Dogtown's locked in a never-ending power struggle. A lot of biz to go around. But only Hansen reaps the rewards. Hans is gunning to diversify who controls what, when, and where. My skills and know-how are to facilitate that. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean, Evie. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. What a fucking shit star. Reed, you copy? Made it to the hallway. Copy you loud and clear. I'm in position too. Where 
are you, Reed? Don't you the pack essentials only? Liquor boxes and such. And you collected our tax? Of course. Ah, there you are. What's the sitch? See a gate, two guards. Don't worry about them. Jimmy, open that gate. Roger that. It's gotta be checked out. Careful, someone's lurking! Brother Skunks. Uh. Someone was falling. In attack! and nice to go fuck themselves. He should have been put down long ago. Instead, he rules this entire district. So you are scared. This is Hanson's surf. He has the upper hand. It's just a fact that needs accepted. Does it mean I'm shaking at the knees? Hell no. All right, find a vantage point to have eyes on me. Neutralize any and all threats. Call and quiet. Dropped the sniper, nesting in his perch now. Had the perfect vantage point, saw everything. Cover me. You're in prime duck hunting position. New user detected. Calibration in progress. Firing mode inactive. I'm in position. I got you. What now? Focus! Don't let me out of your sight! I need support! Stand! That up like a bunch of rookies, but there's no going back. Elevator, follow me. Almost there, V. Fucking finally. You're looking a little pale. A little deja vu is all. Different elevator, different hotel. The sits didn't turn out great. What makes you say that? It's my job to notice things like this. How many ops you been on? Ballpark. One of the number of years you've been around. But right now, we're crashing the party of a bad boy dictator. While aiming to walk out with his prized possession.
Dress up time. Throw on your new threads and plaster on your best fake smile. A party awaits. set. Gotta hand it to Hanson, V. Party's hopping. Has a sense of grandeur. Didn't have shit like this in my day. Now hop on over there and help me out. Managed to forget what real champagne tastes like. Say again? Maintenance area? Where exactly? Wounded or do we have bodies? I'll be at the bar if you need me. for some champagne. Don't mind if I do. A pleasant evening to you. What now? I know as much as you do. All she said was to come here. She'll either find us or she left us something. And you, what's your play? I thought you were the master planner here. Evidently I am. To my right, Booth's far back behind the stairs. The guy in the fatigues looks like he came here straight from a firing range. Owner of the Black Sapphire, Mr. D-Town himself, Kurt Hansen. Clearly having a great night in the company of the NCPD commissioner. PA Broadcast, he fiercely anti-law enforcement. It's an act. Behind closed doors, he's rubbing elbows and patting backs of NCPD's top brass. Avoid him, especially in the confrontation. Beside that, stay visible. Songbird said she'd find us here. Let's give her a chance. I'll grab a drink and look around. Open line on comms. Don't press anyone too hard. We need to keep Did up you appearances. For a drink? Look like you're having fun. Gin and tonic, please. Say. Um, but I'm sure. It's so good you're here. Don't know what I'd do without you, V. Really. Didn't exactly give me a choice now, did you? Told me to show up here and just ghost it. The, uh, runner. Your friend. Who, who helped us reconnect last time. Killed him. Fried him, didn't I? You didn't kill Slider. Blackwall did. 
Lucky as hell it didn't flatline you too. I ran out of time to explain everything. Saul, I've made so many mistakes. It's all right, son. Not your fault. The blame's on us. All of it. On you? I is all of them. I know what they made you do. They pushed and pushed, and I... <sighs> I wasn't there to stop it. Listen, guys. We do not have the time for this now. Right. Main thing is to get you out of here. That's not happening. It is. We got in, we can get out. Just Not the me. point. I'm dying, Saul. Like V. Hansen has the cure we need. We run now, we both die. Relic's killing V. Blackwall's my poison. I can't bow out now. Whoa. Sharing a boat to oblivion with me? Could have said something. Had no time. Still don't. But hear me out. I need help. Your help. Hansen pulled some tech out of a bunker under Dogtown. Tech that could cure both V and me. We need to clep it. Only way I see of doing that is to stay close. Play the prisoner. Oh, fuck. We'll wait for an opportunity and pounce. I'll be on the inside. Ask for your help when the time's right. I can flee once I have that tech. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Ah, so me. Care to introduce your friends? It's not often I'm simply not familiar with guests attending my own party. And I never forget a face. Kurt Hansen. Name's V. Just V. Haven't seen so me in years. Trying to catch up. Oh, that's what this is. To me, reunions consist of picking up the broken, scattered shards of your heart. Or teeth. Always hurts. Well, I need to grab you, darling. I have a couple NC politicos here who are dying to meet you. And if we're to keep hungry rats from devouring Dogtown, we really do need to feed them the occasional scraps. I'm all yours, Kurt. See you soon, V. Oof. Cranium, it worked. Reestablished our link the moment I touched you. Interesting. I need a minute to process. And I need a drink. Heading downstairs. I'll explain everything. Just need you to listen. What's the deal, Song? Doubt I've ever seen a prisoner parade around in a cocktail dress at a swanky party. Not to mention being hella friendly with their captor. It's a charade, V. Doing what I need to survive, to get what I want. I'm letting Hansen show me off like his personal trophy. V, I... I can't explain everything now. It's... too much. But I really do need your help. All I want is to get that cure for us. It's what I've been chasing all along. Not liking this. Not a bit. I don't like my situation either. It's very shit for all three of us. There, I said it. The cure. How do we get it? We need the Neural Matrix. Secret tech that incorporates AIs from beyond the Black Wall. The Matrix is nested in a mainframe Hansen pulled out of the bunker. The mainframe's secured, but Hansen lacks the key. That's the problem. Neural Matrix. What is it exactly? In short, it's storage. A carrier for an AI trapped within certain boundary conditions. When the AI is triggered, it'll execute what's stipulated within those conditions. But I really can't go into detail now. We don't have the time. 
Wait, what's the rush? I might be talking to you, but in the flesh I'm with Hansen. I'll need to focus. Play nice in a minute, or he'll suspect something's up. Got a plan? Spill it. Hansen needs me and a duo of runners who worked on this tech in the past. They actually grabbed access codes they're willing to unload for a price. Classic black market shit. They're bringing access, I'm bringing know-how about how to pull the Matrix and data off the mainframe. We're to work side by side, giving us a chance. You clip the access codes, then get the runners out of the way. You'll then impersonate them for a meet with Hansen. Same meet or we'll swipe the Matrix out from under his nose. So, runners, we're to impersonate him? How? Personality theft tech. Arm kind of specializes in it. Alex and Reed know it well. They'll explain. Of all people, couldn't have imagined those two would be on our side, Alvin. This job, this whole story about Hanson, not adding up something fierce, Song. You're hiding something, still. I don't have time to explain the ins and outs now. V, please, we need the Matrix. Focus on the runners. Find them. They're here. Downstairs. Red-headed twins, walled to the teeth with ice. Grocery scans will show you bunk. You're blowing me off. Champagne glass over there. Prep some intel for you. Get it to read. You'll need it later. Really need to go now, V. I'm counting on you. Songbird. And she's gone. Seems your special agent has special needs, trying to drown his sins and sorrows. Talk to Songbird via the relic. We can communicate again. Hmm. All good there, Reed? Yeah. I just need to process for a minute. It's just how I'm built. A little adversity and I need a few moments to think. Come up with anything? Yeah. We now know who took a swipe of Myers's head. Hansen. Yeah, but not really. Don't know about you, but I see coincidences as patterns, structures we have yet to recognize. Hmm. <laughs> what you driving at? SF1 crashes. Not anywhere, but over specific turf. Controlled by someone who found some obscure forgotten tech in a secret bunker. Right. Crash was an inside job. We suspected that from the get-go. Now we know it was. And we know it was Songbird. She was behind it. Too early for conclusions, don't you think? Got no proof she planned this in advance. Could have improvised, reacted to facts. Come on. You know, they actually think she learned about the cure just now. She made a deal with Hansen earlier. Had to. Before any of this went down. Traded the president's life for access to the tech. The NUS Prez. Sold to a crime lord. Huge if true. Myers pressured Somi to reach further, breach boundaries. And then Somi snapped. I know about that. Song recruited me specifically to pull Myers out of that wreck. Seriously doubt she wanted her dead or snatched by Hansen. It's never that simple, V.
As I see it, Somi was playing both sides, simultaneously spinning deals with Hansen and you. She has Hansen set, then you come in. She contacts you via the relic, asks you to rescue the president. Absolution for her right there. You need to cure just as much, guaranteeing you'll help if her plan falls through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are, rushing to Songbird's rescue. Thinking a few steps ahead was always her strength. But judgment calls and situational assessment, her Achilles heel. As a chess master, she'd be famous for dazzling plays and excruciatingly beautiful defeats. Shit. Can't shake the film, she's still running a game. Sure, it seems more upfront than at first. No way she's telling all, though. Could be right. Staying alert's never a bad idea. But I know Somi well enough to know she'll do her damnedest to be fair. Right. Just branded your beloved Bell of the Ball, who you're out to rescue, a traitor. What well, now? What do you want to do about it? You know, V, treason ain't ever black and white. They try to zero me once, too. What if we've all been played? Main thing now is to get her out of this cesspool of a sitch. Then we'll see which direction to take. Right. No point pouring over it now. Right. Back to the sitch at hand. What do we have to do to save her? To grab the tech Songbird and I both need, we gotta go to a meet with Hansen. Prep for it's required. Cause we show up as a pair of runners. We need to collect their identities first. Whatever that means. Personality imprint theft. Sounds like our Colombian job of yore. Who are they and where do we find them? So, how's one go about it? Klepping someone's personality? FIA Menanthropic Tech. Alex has access. You should have used it already. You look, sound, and act like the individual whose personality you assume. To do it, we need scans of our targets. Song got this shard to me. Take a look. Our targets are a brother and sister, red-haired twins. They're here somewhere, schmoozing. Hmm. Okay, we need to pull data, get samples of assorted behavior. We make contact with them, talk, scan as we talk. Got it, I think. So, time to make our move? Over there. <laughs> wow. Traced him in the flash, Reed. Noticed him some time ago. They stand out even in this mountain pot. Twin roulette, looks like. Alex, you copy that? Radio loud and clear. Prep and scan tech now. You're new to this, but relax. We'll do it as a four-hander. I scan one, you handle the other. Alex will pilot us through. V, zipping funds your way from our operating budget. Load up on chips and join their game. Just don't go all in from the get-go. We stagger our approach, and we're strangers. Let's get to this. Struck gold with roulette, really. Gambling throws people around, high and low, brings the joy of winning and the despair of defeat. Perfect for our purposes. Greetings, sir. Want to buy some chips? Of course. Good luck at the tables. Bets, red or black only. None of the double street or basket bullshit. Understood? Understood. Need an array of emotions, so provoke. But subtly so, or they'll clam up. Scan will be a bust. Will you join us? Even black. Place your bets, please. Bedding's open. By all means. Make it red. Relax. Buy him drinks. Break the ice. I'll join you momentarily. All bets are in. Bedding is closed. 
What? No introduction? V. You. Aurore Cassel. And that boar is my brother, Emmerich. What's your poison? My treat. A bourbon for me. Alas, mon frère does not drink. You heard the lady. And real water for the gentleman here. And what'll you have? Same as the lady. Bourbon coming up. Your drinks will be here shortly. 34. Even. Et Red. merde! Place your bets, please. Last chance. Black. Let's go, let's go. V. Can't get a hold of Reed. No idea where he is. Stall for time, okay? Hmm, I just realized. Uh, you must have dirt beneath your fingernails too. Like all these bastards and bitches. That is, unless you're on tourist. Like the no-lifers who must watch others live to feel anything. Provocative, this one. What do you think I am? Oh my my! One drink and already flirting? Bold. Eight. Even. Black. Ah, yes. Duh! Fucking done here! Duh! <sighs> Place your bets, please. Can't help feeling I interrupted something when I walked up. Do not worry yourself about this. Oh, come, come. V is just being cordial. N'est-ce pas, V? You weren't snooping just now, Pretty. were you? Even. Black. Still no sign from Reed, V. Got a sinking feeling about this. Place your bets, please. Sure wasn't snooping, no. Just being plain courteous. Oh, don't be such a bore. I simply don't like bores. Of course you were snooping, as we are simply too interesting to ignore. Listen, Reed's MIA for now, can't wait for him. Gotta do both scans on your own. We were discussing local politics, specifically our host, Monsieur Kurt Hansen. Big fish selling big guns for big money. Yet here you have celebrities, politicians, even the chief of police. So I was thinking, uh, perhaps Hansen would do better by being a veritable businessman, no? I claim he would. Mon cher frère disagrees. 36. Even. Red. Ugh. Guess it's not my lucky day. Place your bets, please. Who is Kurt Hansen really? A crucial question. Tread carefully with that duo, V. Hansen's a suit without a suit. If you catch my drift. Oh my fucking god, you Americans. You used to have more imagination. Tossing you around, V. Don't let her. Level the field. Maybe you could lay out your opinion of the man. Profiter de la vie to enjoy life. That is the point. You can wage wars to make money, but why do so at all if you must then hide it? Emmerich knows this. I know this. And if Hansen has any sense, he knows it too. 36. Even. Red. Place your bets, please. You're not going to become too close with him. But you're not your jealous, brother. It's not like he's going to kiss me and me. Charming little show you're putting on. You see, Emric? We are charming. You're not going to become too close with him. You're not going to become too close with him. You're not going to become too close with him. You're not going to become too close with him. I mean, Hansen could take Dog down by the throat, eject the junkies, and make it a paradise for billionaires. Just getting rich is dull. You should work for the community, invest, create jobs, throw banquettes. 
She's getting chatty. She's doing good, V. And charities are excellent washing machines. You launder billions, believe me. Ten. Even. Black. Place your bets, please. And you're so childish. It's beautiful. What? And soon going missionary position in business? Nonsense. <sighs> Reed's still not responding. But you keep working it. Let's go. Swap twins. This is right, you know. Legit biz. Lots better. Safer than the gangster shit. Oh, please. What would he do? Build homes? Strip malls? He is very good at what he does. A professional criminal. Soldier yesterday, crime lord today. Why not biz shark tomorrow? Yet he is a businessman. And to make it legal, it is a lot of work to do for a simple change of label. Good. Little worms opening up. Nineteen. Odd. Red. Oh, putain! Place your bets, please. Care to expand? Floor is yours. Allow me to say, V. Arms or property, it would make no difference to me what I sell. And to spend five years on efforts to uh, change how people see you, call you. To be upstanding in the eyes of others. I could not give a shit. 18. Even. Red. Ah, damn. I should have bet on red. Place your bets, please. Getting there. Almost got it. Give me something big now. Make them laugh or cry, I don't care. Please place your... Like the tingle of risk. Oh, mon vieux, t'as pas d'idée. Thinking we can add a little spice to our game. I'm listening. My, my, I too, I'm curious. How about we go all in? Bet everything we want tonight. <gasps> and we play different colors, yes? You win or we do. And either you or we lose all. My thoughts exactly. A moment. You join the table, buy drinks, talk and talk. Now you wish to risk everything? I find this disquieting. Perhaps you could now tell us about yourself. Tread lightly. Name's V. Afterlife affiliated. Make what you will of it. Oh, are you happy now? You choose first, then. I'm seeing red coming. Black for us, then. some folks leave us for a moment if you please a goodbye then I know your friend Reed is FIA my natural assumption is you're an agent too I'm also guessing you two took it upon yourselves to save the president then exfil her out of Dogtown. I should send you back to Night City in body bags, filled with pieces. You trying to scare me? Dunno. Are you afraid? We're just talking, aren't we? You're not about to kill us. Got it right? To be honest, I got tired of the media circus. All the allegations thrown in my face. The bullshit propaganda. Luckily, we can put all that behind us now. Oh, so you couldn't be happier we saved Myers after your botched hit. Right. Think you believe that less than I do. I will let you and Reed walk free of this place. In one piece, on your own two feet. 
Consider it a gesture of my goodwill. Your little bird came to me on her own, though. She was tired of breaking international laws on the president's whim. She simply had to run away. Breaching the black wall, jeopardizing the net, all humankind's safety, in fact, for personal gain? I wonder what Netwatch would say. Pass it on to President Myers. Also tell her, her toy of mass destruction is my friend now. And she should get the fuck out of my backyard, or the world will learn about her games. I've matters to attend to. You'll find Mr. Reed downstairs. Okay, V. Got all we need. Sheesh. Colossal prick. Hear what he said? Yeah, caught it all. Didn't like it one bit, either. Son of a bitch said I'd find Reed downstairs. Yeah, heard him. Wasn't crazy about his tone. Time to evac, V. Best not tempt the fates. Head to the elevator, ride down to one. Need to know what's up with Saul. Please enjoy your evening. Is something happening? Hmm. People are checking. Have you noticed anything else? Thinking about what that prick said. Guy knows. Got some dirt on Myers. Can't imagine it happening. But if the public learns that any U.S. president willingly broke international laws governing cyberspace use... And USA's fucked. Myers will either have to take the fall, let herself be buried in dirt for this, or she'll defy the world and spark another war. Fuck me! Songbirds are walking, talking, the WND. Hans has got her on a tight leash. And he can prime her for use whenever he wants. Listen, V, we need to get her out. For everyone's sake. Oh, just once I'd like to see things go smoothly, as planned. This feels so very, very wrong. You and your tomb best be headed the fuck out now. Straight on from here. Gonna walk you two out. Come on, V. No reason to hang. I'm going, I'm going. Sheesh. You hold the fuck up. Are you the ones who busted your way in? Through them tunnels like eels or something. Hey, uh, got us confused with someone else, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's you. You took out some of my tunes. We fucking served together. Maybe Hansen let you walk. But we won't. And since he's not here, who knows what's gonna happen. Try me, motherfucker. With pleasure. That's all for you to leave. Now run! Yeah. Got the sky above. Still got a tail to shake. I'm out of the woods, too. See you soon. Go watch yourself. V, what's your status? All good? Alex said you went at the runners on your own. Got the scans. How about you spill where you've been? What happened? Had us worried. The op was underway. I didn't want to jeopardize it, so when confronted, I behaved. They cornered me, got me before we could meet up. Forget the rest. How'd it go at the table? Anything to worry about? Hansen showed up. We chatted. Threats were made, actually. Said if Myers doesn't let up, the world will learn about Songbird Pierce and the Black Wall. He clearly knows what Somi means to the President. 
Personal WMD, you mean? Yeah. Hanson knows all. Need to get her the fuck out, Reed. Really. I was afraid of this. Okay. V, Alex and I have work. We need to analyze the data from Soundbird. Might take a day or two. Preen. Open comms line, then? Sure. We'll work out a game plan. Get back to you ASAP. Oh, and V, bang up work. Hey, V, recon's in our rear view now. Get yourself ready and meet me at Alex's. Sure, see you there. Been here before, Reed. Don't be like them. Remember the last time we had this convo? I do. And yes, the rules is not that different. But the stakes are. The classic copy and paste of ID matching bioscans behaviorals, all bases covered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so like Medellin. Or Night City a few years later. Ah, uh, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Op not sitting well with you, Alex. Reminds me of a few other stitches we handled. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked in Op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. Story for another time, maybe. I agree. Come on, let me show you what we have. We've parsed the intel from the shard Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught up to her. No, she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Alex nailed it. If anyone's to blame, it's Myers, not you. You might be right, but so am I. Right, our objective, to free Somi from under Hans's duress. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue op, because... Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Hole. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Myers. I'm not about to pretend I understand the tech wise and hows. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Asaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. All right. Plan. Let me hear it. Hanson and me with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close, to Song and the Matrix. Hanson hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hanson access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hanson's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural Matrix is in there too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now, we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Emmerich and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand? Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. Yeah, I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. Gonna miss that next paycheck, cause they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hansen. So we kidnap them. How we want to do this? They're driving a rental while in NC. The 
an exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. And you're rolling all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil wrap. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem-free. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen. Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress-up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at this stage. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird? We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much herself. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. How much have you told Myers? What she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Main goal, I want to make sure I'm clear. We're springing Songbird free from Hansen's iron grip and seizing tech that's going to save your lives. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hansen's visiting Netrunners. Disguise is our key to the op. First step, what was it again? Securing a trace on the Netrunners' car. This bit's on you. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Things couldn't be clearer. Let's get to work. So, time we talk nabbing the runners? Cover that in a minute. You know Reed better than I do. What he thinks. What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. Hmm. And so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will. Is that right? It's not wrong. So we serve Hansen up on a silver platter, and it'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways. We're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? <sighs> Honestly? Still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep. Saddle you with a Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something. Like, the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. The stations, how do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. 
Rental agencies got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So, breach the station, trace a car. Good. What then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Dunno. Anything goes wrong, I'll be stuck in there. Suck it up. This is FIA trunk ops, soldier. <laughs> Seriously though, the tech just works. And we'll have your back the whole way. Sounds simple enough. Tech worth tens of thousands can help any plan go off like a dream. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. B, heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your Relics firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Don't worry, completely painless. Relic upgraded? How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I guess. We can take that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. First good news, you said. So there a second thing? Right. It's... super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. Okay, need to Delta. We'll see you soon. Anabo! Bate kuaje! Super. Просто супер. Got a problem, Alex. Gonna take more than breaching one station to recreate the encryption key. Fuck. Give me a sec. Okay, got another station for you to try. Think we're good with just one more? It's a car rental company, for Christ's sake. How sophisticated a system can they have? Let's get to it. Good luck out there. And raise Reed as soon as you grab that encryption key. Well, here we are. You and me, face to face. Sure we're alone. Wouldn't want any unpleasant surprises. No surprises. Except maybe you're already one of us. Don't trust a soul. This spot. Didn't pick it at random, I guess. Guessed right. Wanted to show you something. It means a lot to me. It could help put some things in perspective. And it means I trust you. Come over here. So what's so special about this place? Lived just two blocks off while I was here in NC on assignment. Locals come here after sunset. Fire up grills, crack open beers, talk about nothing in particular. Swing by here come evening sometimes. All of it. Every inch is special. Reminds me of Brooklyn. Actually from there. Wouldn't mind hearing about it. Brooklyn. Hmm. Got this memory. It was the night before I raided a Militech data form. I'm sitting out on my fire escape. Just lit a J. 
down on the street, I see a party starting. There's playful screams and laughter. Someone's blasted funk from their stoop. I hear Willie, too. Sells the best scoff dogs around. He's shit-talking one of his chews. And there's bonfire smoke in the air. Safe. Familiar. Were they celebrating something? Yeah. A Thursday. Yeah. No feeling. Got a place you hold close to your heart, too? Not a place. That was always changing. But people, sure. Memories of home. Yearning to go back. Can't rewind the clock, V. By the time you realize you miss something, it's usually too late. <sighs> Suppose we should get back to the here and now. Attack on Myers. You schemed it up with Hansen. I know that. Yeah, Neural Matrix was pricey. But honestly, I... I never thought he'd try to kill her. You betrayed her. Not just her. Nothing went according to plan. What a fucking mess. Sent Myers' entire flight crew to an early grave. Myers herself too, almost. Ground the plane. That was the plan. Didn't expect he'd blow it to shit. Not much of an excuse, I know. So what was your plan? For you to rescue Myers while I secured the AI Matrix, and for us to run, all before Kirk caught on. Now Hansen's changed the terms of our deal. They'll make him answer for the attack. He knows that, so he's covering his ass. The one thing he doesn't know is what's on the Sinusure mainframe. He's hoping it's data he can use as leverage against the NUS. Says that's my ticket to freedom, but as soon as he gets his hands on it, I'm dead. I just know it. I fucked everything up. I know V. But I had no choice. Still don't understand why. Wasn't any other way, honestly. Wouldn't have resorted to this if there was. From Myers, the NUSA, I'm um, just another weapon in their arsenal. A tool for reaching beyond the Black Wall. And weapons and tools, they don't get to make decisions or choose to retire. Burden the past mistakes. We both bear it. It ain't easy. Me for the biochip, you for the black wall. You mean to say it's my fault? No, just that when you try to save yourself, it's usually somebody else who pays the price. Hmm. Yeah. Ain't that the brutal fucking truth? You're the only one I can trust with this. The only question is, after everything you just heard, you feel the same way about me? I get the feeling this is the first time you've been honest with me. Yeah. With you and myself. I need to get away. From Kurt, then USA, Reed. From everything. Speaking of, out of everybody out there, you saw Hansen as a trusty ally. Seriously? I needed someone who could tear me from Meyer's grip. I knew him from my time in Night City when I was posted here. Took a steep risk, all right. And a plain gonk wanted that. That's why I enlisted you, too. Night City's just a pit stop along your escape route. That was always the plan, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just... Things got complicated. Messy. Certainly didn't expect my old agency chooms to get involved. Or to find myself caged by Kurt. I'm fleeing, V. Gotta get out. 
And to do that, I need you. Because you... You know how it is. How am I to know this isn't an elaborate con? Be nice to have some kind of guarantee. I can't give you one, sorry. But I've shown you my trust. I mean, you're free to sell me out to Reed, right? Or trust me enough to save us both. No guarantee for either of us. Fair deal, I say. Okay. Say I believe you. What's the next step? We go through with the mission, grab the neural matrix. While Reed and Alex grapple with Hansen, we make our getaway. And then? Mm. You helped me skip town. I already cut a deal with the Black Clinic far, far from Night City. There, the Rippers can access the Matrix and use an algorithm to create a prototype of our cure. They'll need me present to run their tests. The moment they're finished, I'll send word. And... that's it. Everything. Like a weight off my shoulders, honestly. Now, I have to ask. You're in this because you understand me? Or because I promised to save your life? Should be pretty clear. I mean to survive, too. I appreciate your honesty. <sighs> I guess that's all. I suppose you should call Reed. Let him know all set for the meet with Hansen. Reed, hey, I'm Nova. Thanks. How are you? Put a cold beer in front of me once this is all over. Then we'll have time to chat. For now, fill me in on what you managed to get done. So me contacted me. Got news. Let me hear it. Well, first off, we've been greenlit. Our VIP's ready to be served. Music to my ears. What else? Songbird opened up a bit. About her sitch. It's looking bad. Real bad. His texts are only shot. I hear you. I do. All the more reason to focus on the mission in front of us. Get our hands on that cure. But Reed, what's Omi spilled? We really need to talk. I know, but later. Not a topic for the hollow. We need that car tracking, so get to work. We'll go from there. Once you get the encryption key from this system, let me know immediately. Looking for something? Won't find you here. Nothing to find. Transceiver. Need to jack in quick. Two secs and I'm gone. You do you. <sighs> Borked. It ain't working? <gasps> Jesus! You want a hint? I can tell you how to fix it if you really want to fix it. Old people need help with this stuff sometimes. So, yeah. Turn it off first. Then, turn it back on. You know, I can tell you where to look for the on button for... a thousand ads. Interested? <laughs> okay. Eddies are all yours. Nova. Done deal. So? Switch. Where is it? I don't know exactly. Around here. Telling you where to look, not where to find it. Just like I said. We'll play hot and cold. If you're close or far, we'll holler hot or cold. Let's start playing. You'll get it. Yo, yo, yo! Don't even think about flatlining here! I ain't gonna touch a corpse! This... This gotta be what having a fucking stroke feels like. Perfect, Johnny. Thanks. Wasn't on purpose. 
Just gotta pick up the pace. Clock's ticking. I'm doing what I can. You made it. Got a head start. A drink to calm the nerves. Appreciate the invite. Glad to see you, Alex. Sweet of you to say. I wrote you cause... Cause I needed someone to talk to. Someone outside the firm. And not some total rando. To take my mind off the mission. Not worry about being someone else for a millisec. Hope that makes sense. Okay, so what you want to talk about? I mean, it's not like I have an agenda typed up. I just want to be a normal fucking person for a little bit. Myself, specifically. Just me. Just Alex. I like the sound of that myself. Just shed this skin and leave the Night City murk behind. Hey, yeah. Like, who are you anyway? Huh. <laughs> good question. All the shit going on in my life lately? A damn good question. Definitely too soon to know for sure. Say, you ever think about who you'd be now if, you know, life had taken a different turn? Maybe I'd still be with my family out on the road. As in nomads? Mm-hmm. The backers. Probably somewhere in the Midwest right now. Scraping together a few eds from the corn harvest. Then long conversations over beer. Isn't it time we joined Snake Nation? <laughs> Soaking in that big sky. Or the stink of chew in some rat hole motel. <laughs> or that. to your health. Okay, now you. Who would you be if not a secret agent and master of disguise? An actor. No hesitation there. Always dreamed of seeing my face on a show bill. I love musicals especially. Seriously? <laughs> Call me old fashioned, so yeah. Guess I'd be a brain dance star. Mm. <laughs> Clearly got the skills to do it. You're a pro at being someone else. I think so too. And you know what? Acting's an honorable craft. You can bring forth emotions in people they didn't know they had. Help them escape life's tedium. Or worse, in the service, not much of that honor to speak of. To our dreams, for they alone keep us sane. Ain't that the truth? Ooh, I love this song! When it's all I'm ever missing And it feels as though I'm waiting And I don't need no head in my hands To know I'm ever heading way south I think I'll find it all somewhere between the ice and fire 
it's all I'm ever thinking. Don't do this often, I'm guessing. Anything about it right now. Busting moves? <laughs> Can't say I do. What gave it away? <laughs> Wasn't thinking of dancing, but never mind. We'll see you on BD posters in no time. I know it. First, retirement. See you soon, V. Hey, I got the encryption key for Karen Exotics. Nice work. V, one other thing. You need new chrome, an implant that accommodates behavioral imprints. I'm sending you deets for a clinic. A doc will be expecting you. Just tell the Ripper you know she collects unification war trinkets. She know you came with my blessing. You Frida? Yes, and we're closed. Got something might interest you. I doubt it. Here you collect trinkets. Unification warrior. Mm-hmm. Come in. I'm sorry I was unwelcoming. Ever since a certain space plane crashed nearby, I've had to be more cautious. V, good to see you. Huh. Here to see me? Things are in flux. Situation's changing faster. Thought we should talk. I'm here about Somi. I spent hours wrapping my head around this, putting myself in her shoes. I needed to understand what she must have been going through to... to resort to treason. You're in no position to want to stand, Reed. Your life ain't on a timer. But I know death. Stared him in the eyes up close. She's trapped, not just here and now, but going months back, hell, actually years. I blame Myers, a sore loser, does her damnedest to avoid it. Songbird, the black wall, dirty tricks meant to give her a competitive edge. It's no wonder Somi doesn't trust anyone, except maybe you, a little. Song should trust you, not me. That it? I can't say I really blame her. I can only blame myself. But could you have done anything differently? Something, anything, instead of giving in and being exiled in Night City a couple thousand miles away. There's a prison cell prepped and waiting for her already. Somi knows that full well. She lives to see tomorrow and every day after. That's what matters. Myers needs her life, sure, but forgive and forget the attempt on her life? Never. Myers might not forgive her, but doesn't mean I can. What you trying to sell me, Reed? Nothing. 
I'm merely trying to convince you. Okay. We break the chain Hanson wrapped around her neck. Then what? We stow away somewhere safe, ask some questions, establish some common ground. Once I get the answers I'm looking for, I'll personally help her disappear. From everyone, everywhere, including Myers. Wanna ask you a few questions, huh? To understand her side. Got an idea already of what I'll hear. System broke her. Almost took her life. Like it did mine. As for me, well, my time's well past. But so is still worth saving. Spinning quite the yarn. Playing me. Fits the M.O. of someone who used to recruit spies for a living. Fuck! No! Just listen. I got contacts in Europe. We'll find the best clinic, put you two back together, fix what's broken. Once we have your cure in hand. But I need to help Somi first. She's lost, and I'm concerned she doesn't know what she's doing. You don't trust her? What I don't trust is the shit from beyond the black hole and the attendant paranoia. Both in play here, I'm afraid. She has another plan in mind. I'm damn sure of it. So me, she reached out. Wasn't telling the whole truth before. Once out, off the grid. Has a plan for right after we take down Hanson. Gonna make a run for it. Slip out of Night City. I thank you, V, for your candor. This means a lot to me. I have something for you. Our best minds in D.C. cooked it up. Icebreaker, silver bullet against any fortified netrunner. Farida will feed it into your system during surgery. Use that, and Somi will drop unconscious within a minute. We can't take any chances, and when she wakes up, she'll wake up at home. Sure this soft will work? Doubt it's been tested on anyone Songbird's level. From what they tell me, this program can anticipate what she'll do before she even thinks to do it. By the time you cut one thread, it's already found another. A precision-guided weapon designed to evade countermeasures. She could sense the breaker. Not talking about some run-of-the-mill runner here. It's meta-heuristic, hyper-aggressive tech, cobbled together by a literal army of experts. If she does sense it, it won't matter. No one out there, alone, could withstand something like this. Okay. How do I use it? Fire it up when you're both jacked into the mainframe. At that moment, Somi's door will be wide open. Two of you could just, you know, sit down, talk it out. That's my aim, precisely. After you kidnap her. <laughs> Not quite the same. We've come to a point where some options are simply off the table. Right now, we're focusing on saving your lives. Talking time will come later. This time I was on my way. I leave you in Farida's able hands. Call me once you're done here. The sooner we begin, the sooner we finish. Okay, no time to lose. Tush, meet chair. Okay, anesthesia incoming. Don't worry, it's the good stuff. Relax and submit. An ID modding implant is complicated tech, true. But the procedure is surprisingly simple. To be honest, never heard of tech like this. <laughs> Seems kind of... sci-fi. This an FIA prototype? Mm-hmm. It was picked off the corpse of a Militech R&D project. Militech abandoned it? That, or they sought to keep it off the books. Top secret. Mom's the word. 
politics. Okay. Anesthesia is taking hold. How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> nice to see you in good form. Mm -hmm. You want something from me? To chat. Got no other options. You'll have to do. So tell me, what's it feel like to be a traitor? Interesting way of saying undercover FIA agent. Shit, actually bought into this. They send you to a fancy party, stroke your ego, and now you're some kind of super spy? What's next? Fucking gold medal? Ticker tape parade? A statue? A national holiday? Kids home from school? What the fuck? But seriously, found yourself in a shitastic situation. Come on, got iron in your hand. Gotta put it to someone's head. Pull the trigger. The master spy and the agent unloosed. Tragedy, comedy, or both. I think one of them's trying to do me. No, they're both telling the truth. I mean, might be muddy on the nitty gritty, but their motivations are plain and clear. Survival. It's her be all and end all. That, and she's a walking, talking nuke. The kind that keeps making mistakes, never knowing which one's gonna set her off. And Reed? Bastard and me are one and the same. If I hadn't ghosted the army, I'd have become a Reed myself. Live and die by our principles. That's the tragedy, V. Someone's gonna play victim to the other's good intentions. Try not to forget that when you're standing over that fucking overgrown neuro drive. Reader Songbird. What would you do in my shoes, Johnny? I am in your shoes, dumbass. For every gonk choice you make. But I can't do dick. But honest to God, V, not fucking around? I don't know. Got no goddamn clue. All done. The facial morph implant is online. Now all you need is a behavioral imprint. And do me a favor. Don't tell me what you need this for. Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Right. Hey, procedure's a wrap. V, I hope you're not feeling too raw post for Rita's work. It's time to intercept and supplant the netrunners. Just one hiccup. Our access to Karen Exotics was cut. They must have discovered us. Wait, seriously? So we lost them? Not entirely. We know they were last in city center. Headed out direction. Find a vantage point near the entrance of Dogtown. You'll grab a trace on the runners as they drive to the meeting. Okay, now I'm going to...
gonna need you to confirm a visual for me. Scan the vehicles in your area. One's bound to be them. No visual on our targets. There they are. No question. Both runners are inside. Got the signal? Got it. Not gonna slip off our radar anymore. Good work. Still early for the meet with Hansen. They'll stop. Kill time somewhere. Okay, they're stationary. And out of the car. Walking towards the club now. V, you're clear to head for the car. Get to it. Are you in position? Here we are. Damn. Cream right. Hey, you're not there at window shop. Smooth sailing so far. Car's cam feeds are mine. Good. Last check now. Make sure you're ready to roll. Should be good. Just give me one sec. Why? What are you doing? Tweaking the ice. Kind of half-baked. Way it's set up now. Fine. Just no unnecessary risks. Now, we wait. Our VIPs are back. They're about to get in. Time to focus up. Kurt Hansen, tu l'as vu, non? Il était grave en train de me relooker au Saphir. À moins que ce soit cette putain de gueule de bois. Oh, ça tourne de partout, dans tous les sens. T'en penses quoi De Hanson, je veux dire. Ok, V, take control. Hold on. Eavesdropping a bit. Could get interesting. Oh, il a foutu le fait au cul de tout le monde quand il a abattu cet avion. Le risque est élevé, oui. Mais ce travail paye bien. On fait notre part. Ensuite, on disparaît. Ah, oh, putain de gueule de bois de sa mère. Il a fallu que tu fasses ça aujourd'hui. Je t'avais dit de pas ouvrir cette dernière bouteille. Hey, you copy. Chill, just wait. T'en penses quoi De Hansen, je veux dire Je l'ai vu parler au chef de la police et lui donner une petite tape sur la joue comme un chiot. L'autre n'a pas branché. Et il m'en fallait pas plus pour cerner le personnage. C'est un enfoiré coriace et un homme dur. Il survivra à tout ce qu'ils lui balanceront. Mmh, ouais, dur, juste comme je les aime. Tu ont de l'endurance qui va avec. B, clock's ticking. In a sec. Ah, au fait, le mort, Slider. Est-ce que t'as appris quelque chose sur lui mmh. Il avait volé tout le monde autour de lui. Son propre gang, Hansen, ou quelques pauvres types aussi. Ça lui avait rapporté un petit paquet. Euh, je t'enverrai un fichier tout à l'heure. Je le garde sur ma mémoire secondaire. Tac. La voiture Quelqu'un en a pris le contrôle Emric, sonne l'alarme On a besoin d'aide Je vais localiser le vecteur Ok, seconde C'est fait Putain, allez J'essaie de reprendre le contrôle They're playing defense, and they're good.
est coupé Mais merde Quoi Putain Non, 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 non Wow What in the fuck Fuck, you wiped them What do you think we'll do Bind their hands with duct tape, shove socks in their mouths and wait for them to wriggle free and call for help? This ain't no game, V. It's a simple choice. Them or us. I chose us. It's a game! Your fucking spy game, they weren't playing. They were innocent. That's not quite how I describe two pro criminals. These innocents, as you call them, wouldn't hesitate to rob you for everything you've got, or put a bullet in your back. Alright, we have fresh disguises already, but you still need to lift the access codes off them. Aurora's the one to check for those. This feels so fucked up. Expect me to believe you've never taken anything off a body before? Alex, you knew about this. This execution. Of course I knew. Textbook move. Not exactly my first mission, V. Call like that comes with the territory. Sure she's the one with the codes? Definitely. Her brother transfers his memories to external data banks, and he's had these stolen before. They wouldn't risk losing these codes. transferred. Taking the wheel. V, behavioral imprint, now! This on? Oh shit, my voice! Oh nice! Hang on, that's me. What the hell? Cream, right? Give it a whirl. Introduce yourself. Okay. Here goes. Emmerich Cassel. That it? Well, hell yeah. Well, sounded like him at least. <laughs> it can feel like a real trip at first. But you'll get used to it. Take a sec, collect yourself, then we move. Hansen's waiting. Alex, it just hit me. This will be our last stop together. I haven't forgotten our deal. My eyes greenlit it. A diplomatic mission. No end date. Call it early retirement. Thanks much, Reed. Ready, Aurore? Fucking bet I am. Tech's a natural fit for you. Sound just like him. Any pre-op jitters? Kind of, I guess. But... hearing a button there. It's just... more than anything... I miss this. Okay, let's get to it. Alright, stadium then. See you there. Refresh 
refresher before we arrive. Remember, name's Amérique Cassel. Let me let you in on my secret about how to be someone else. Ask yourself three questions. What do they fear? What do they want? What's their deepest secret? Got that? Don't answer now, just something to keep in mind. And be him. So, Emeric, tell me, your thoughts on Hansen? Saw him talk to the chief of police, pat him on the cheek. No complaint, nothing. Told me all I needed to know. But he is a tough bastard, a hard man. He can survive. Impressive recall, not to mention solid roleplay. Before we go in, remember, he wants something from us, not the other way around. We are here to sell him Sinosure mainframe access codes. Stick to the facts, know who you are and are not. Hansen awaits us! <laughs> Good luck, Alex. <laughs> this Alex is who? <laughs> but yes, you as well. Magnifique, because we have a meeting with Colonel Hansen, now. Moment, please. Good, you made it. We haven't met yet, name's Murphy. So, this is your celebrated stadium. That's right. Once an EBM and Petrocam monument to Bloodsport. Today, a hub for global trade. How very American. The Colonel is here already. He is. Waiting for you. Fantastic. This way. Familiar. No, I believe we have met. I'm certain we haven't. Oh, oui, oui. You love to frequent the bordellos of Paris, no? Uh, 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 what? <laughs> I'm only fucking with you, Murphy. It's a pleasure. Here we are. Our stop. You should expect to have eyes on you all day today. Kurt got a tip. The FIA plans to pull some gonk move. 
Huh. Is that so? The situation's under control, though. He ordered everyone checked out. No exceptions. Got our people manning the whole stadium. Drone-aided scans providing surveillance support, too. Need you to leave your weapons here. Next, we'll need to run some ID scans. And joke around as we might get along as we do. Ultimately, this is a place of serious business. You understand? This here is the heart of our little empire. Tell me, what do you do here? Your operation, precisely. Arms traded, mostly. Need to start a war? End one? Planning a coup, maybe. We don't ask these questions. And this hall is from Night City? Some. But our reach stretches around the globe. Japan, Australia, the Balkans, Lagos, you name it. All right, I'm in position. Preparing our evac route now. Take your time. I need ten more minutes at least. Not much further now. I couldn't get started earlier without risk of being compromised. And Emmerich, they should go without saying, but stay in character. Good luck. Let's keep moving. Ah, my brother. He talks little. Huh. Noticed and noted. Sometime I find this creepy. But not you, I hope. Hey, just met the guy. My, my. A diplomat. Pleasure to see you both. Songbird needs a moment to disarm the device. Which gives us a chance to chat. We are not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm sure. I hear you're not the type to do anything hastily. How amusing. What else you must think of me, I wonder? What you must believe? The cliché of a Netrunner ascetic? A techno-modified monk who treats his body as a temple? What can I say? Guilty as charged. You think I trained the Kung Fu? But I know the secret of the vibrating fist. Be careful, Colonel. Perhaps I do. Changing the subject. Did you enjoy yourselves at the Black Sapphire? My people tell me the games went high stakes. You two left richer and happier, I hope. We had losses, but came out on top in the end. And this brainless prick joined. He lost everything. <laughs> I remember the prick. He had it coming. The Black Sapphire is my pride and joy. I worked hard to make it the go-to destination for Night City's royalty. Your operation in the stadium is most impressive. Perhaps even more than the ball at the Sapphire. One can't work without the other. To make billions from the arms trade, you have to first line the pockets of the powerful with millions. The stadium is an integral part of my work in Night City. Say, it's been a while since you were last in Night City, hasn't it? Not since Sinoshore. Quite right, but we almost flew here some time ago. Emmerich had other business in Night City. My brother is obsessed with cars. <laughs> He collects them. 
I say to him how wonderfully pretentious he is. Interesting. And what rare gem brought you halfway around the world? Perhaps you know this man, uh, Grayson? He wanted to sell me a classic Porsche, once owned by a famous American rocker boy. Everyone knows Grayson, and this rock star. Yeah, I remember hearing about this sale. Well, it fell apart. Grayson was a fool. He weaseled out in the final hour. Please, I have vodka. Help yourselves. I'm sure you never put pleasure before business, but I insist. A symbolic drink. <laughs> I could not say it better myself. Symbolic, yes. Not very American, I know, but it's a custom my friends in Siberia taught me to love. You have many friends, it seems. Oh, I've visited many places, and forged my fair share of stories, to be sure. Siberia was just one pit stop of many. Oh, you are a well-traveled man. It's easier to count the places I haven't been. I know where to find what no one else has, and who to call to get it. There are two ways to build a strong professional network. One is travel, the other, a prison term. Ah, right. I'd almost forgotten. My friends in La Sante send their regards. C-Block. Uh, your friends are mistaken, I think. Are you sure? You spent two years in that prison, under a false name. That's right. In the VIP wing. But the cockroaches in C-Block don't know who is there. Then forgive me. I must be mistaken. Colonel. May I see your knife? By all means. It's a traditional Yakut hunting knife. You see, I spent some time in the Philippines. I've had a keen eye for fine blades since. Fascinating. Such a rare thing. By the way, Amrick, I asked around a bit doing my due diligence. They tell me you worked at Petrochem three years ago. Corporations rarely let your caliber talent slip through their fingers. How did you wriggle out of the contract? All change in the corporate world is affected with money. I could afford it. A convenient answer. Generic, uninspired, and almost definitely untrue. Given when this was, I'm amazed you claim to have any memory of it at all. I thought our collaboration was built on trust. I was sorely mistaken. Right. On trust. Ah! So me. We can begin. The mainframe is ready. You remember the terms. One of you feeds in the access codes. The other stays with me. Ooh, I volunteer to stay. To work, then. Follow me. As agreed, you'll see the payments hit your account today. Ah. While you are waiting, I ran some initial diagnostics. The mainframe is prepped and linked with our systems. She's ready to go. You know, he created this lab especially for the occasion. Tens of millions of eddies invested for your visit alone. That's Kurt for you. I have a plan in place for once we secure the neural matrix. I'll hack the local net, override its defense systems, turn the whole stadium hostile. We'll slip out in the chaos. But... how many would die? They die so we can survive. I managed to simulate the mainframe's native environment. The bunker. It'll be ready for the access codes in a moment.
Listen, V. All hell breaks loose in two minutes. When Hansen flatlines, we haul ass. I'll block access to this room. Alex and Reed are minimizing risk and exfilling early via the route. Here she is, in all her glory. Oh, and don't worry about us. Got that sorted already. Check stadium blueprints. No which way to run. So, shall we? I am ready. Linked. Connection quality. Thousandth of the decimal. It'll have to do. Then in we go. Actuating the mainframe. So I see. It's responding. Stay sharp. Almost open for input. Thank you. Really. Thank you for being here. Just a little more. Okay, your turn. It's ready for the access codes. Relax, Sony. We're almost there. Hmm. Home stretch. Mm hmm. Kurt, we have a problem. No, I can handle the one down here. Really expected this to work? So me! Wait! No! You... You don't know what you're doing! Oh, but I do know me. Doing what I have to to survive. Trust Reed when he says he can help you. And honestly, nothing. You should you too. understand nothing. Two faces. Second long taste of what it's like. Uh, somebody cranked the dials. Max amps. Ripped the hole in space time. Lucky you made it back. My head. Come on, get that fucking thing open. talk to me. So me. Uh, she fought back. We passed the black wall. Lost control. Like Alex is gone. Alex. That move, you out of time. Come on, let's play a game. We're lit. this fucker! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 
knows better than you. <laughs> Town Alpha Hound. My ass. Thank you, V. That was for Alex. Okay. Okay. I need a sit rep. Alex is dead. Songbird has flown. It could be... It could still be her in there, or... Or what? Some kind of rabid AI? Fuck. Reed will find her. A cyber cycle on that scale won't go unnoticed in the city. You're right. Finding her is priority one. Where, where, where? Could be anywhere. Best check NCPD scanner for chatter. If somi has been spotted, they'll know. Omega class target. Will. I repeat, Omega class target. Max tag is inbound. Внимание всем патрульным. На месте происшествия работает Max tag. Не вмешиваться. Повторяю, не вмешиваться. Look, AVs. Max tag. NCPDs. In downtown. Everybody's willing to make an exception for Max Tech when you got a cyber psycho on your doorstep. But look if you're so me. We're following him. Max Tech? Don't tell me you mean to fight him. No, but we need to know what's going on. Target is Omega Class. I repeat, Omega Class target at large. Max Tech is en route. That's her. Max tag in oh. position, eyes on target. Is good? Mm. Hold your fire. Target exhibiting strange behavior. She's on the ground. Appears to be unconscious. Target secured. There's one thing left for us to do. Madam President, I have news. Tell me. We're burned, for now at least. The Songbird is in NC police custody. I have no sway with the city government. This is your problem to fix, Reed. Understood. I'll get her to Langley. And remember, I want her alive. Langley? Thought the plan was to ask a few questions. Help her get yeah, home. Well, pretty tough to talk the way she is now. Weren't you paying attention? There is no second option. Right now, she belongs in federal custody. They can still help her. And you. So, what do we do now? We get to work. Get on the hollow. I'll do the same. We make calls to whoever comes to mind. Find us a net runner you trust. One who's capable of getting inside NCPD systems. You're in luck. Running the net's what I do. Your field experience is rich and it'll be valuable here. We need a dedicated runner jacked into a full rig. Data forts in their sights to works. Reed, we'll get her back. I know.
And say, my turn. I got a job for you this time. You for me? Peculiar. Next Max Tech prisoner transport to Los Padres. Need to know the convoy's route. Max Tech. Prisoner. Los Padres. Interesting. Stakes too high for comfort? Can always find help elsewhere. Did I say they were? I have a contact. One capable of extracting the information you require. For the right price. Fifteen thousand. Non-negotiable. Still interested? Sipping the ads your way now. And I expect results, hands. Transfer received. I am sending the coordinates. Be there in... Bear with me. Ten hours. The data shard will be waiting. Encrypted, naturally. Accessible to you based on biometric identification. Oh, and do your utmost not to make a mess of this V. I despise cleaning up after others. Thanks. Later, hands. Welcome. And still yet swing by. It's about a gig. Oh, it's you. Before we continue, I need to verify through biometric scan. Connect here. Fine. Have it your way. It will only take a moment. And won't hurt a bit what they all say. They also say the proof is in the data. You cannot know who anyone truly is until you see what lies within. Small things that help a net runner sleep at the night. There. Authorization confirmed. All you need is here. Just so you know, gathering it wasn't easy. The Max Tac Data Fortress is a labyrinth and a panopticon combined. Every node you pass attracts a thousand unwanted stairs. But you managed. <laughs> You're my hero, Yoko. Wait. Our cooperation need not end here, if you catch my meaning. That is, if you plan to do what I think with this data. Interested? Know what? I think it's best if our cooperation ends here and now. You surprise me. You won't even hear my offer? Fine, I'm listening. Just short and sweet. Of course. Our mutual friend would offer additional thanks for the windfall that would result from this. If you would be so kind and send us the coordinates of the location where you deal with your problem. You after max that gear, is that it? Get there before anyone else does? Mm, you would only need to send the coordinates. Give it a shot, but no promises. I need the coordinates, nothing more. In return, I guarantee a generous reward. Good luck. That did is causing us to max tap to max murder. We'll have to get in line. Touche. All righty. Let's get Reed's super spy peepers on this. See where it leads. Jumping Max Tack now, are we? Stepping up your game. Busting into Arasaka Tower, it ain't. But it's up there. Somewhere. Trying to knock me off the arch terrorist pedestal? The famed JS got a hot take on all this? 
on going toe-to-toe with Max Tuck? Hell yeah. Good fucking luck. Cause you're gonna fucking need it. Mint Reed and Songbird. Huh. <laughs> What's there to say? Chick bought a one-way ticket to Cyber Hell. Floored the chew and cut the brakes. And she's dragging us along. Can say that again. Deal, Reed. They get wind it was us. Might as well. This your partner? Fuck me. Didn't know you'd signed on to some suicide pact. Now hold up a second. I know you. Heard a thing or two about you. More good than bad. You're sure to come in handy. Now for a dozen more like you to stand any chance of surviving. Handle ourselves fine. Don't you worry. Anyone ought to be worried around here, it's you. That's enough. Well then, I just hope the FIA sends us new contact deets once you're busy pushing up daisies. But if you do survive this cat orgy of an op, remember, you and me are square now. <laughs> Modern day patriotism for you. About time we went over the plan. Sixth Street, here. At your beck and call. The NUSA's fifth column in NC. We toss some equipment, little cash here and there, nothing unusual. In return for doing your dirty work, I'm guessing. You are guessing, but we got biz to discuss, don't we? Everything all right, Reed? Yeah. What? Why? Wanna talk about the stadium, what happened, about Alex? Here, now? No, V, we got work to do. Reed. I flicked through your intel. Convoy routes, vehicle array, weaponry they're likely to have. It's not gonna be easy. The reason they're called Psycho Squad's twofold. They're almost cyber psychos themselves. The best chance we have of stopping them is here. Traffic minimal, vantage points optimal. They'll come down this road. Once in range, we hit them hard. Bring them to a stop. We then neutralize all max tac operatives, grab Songbird, run it to an exfil point just across the SoCal border. Our friend here knows the specifics. No Philly whip. I got one last thing I need to take care of. Tiki, you're here to help. Hmm. Here's a lowdown. Convoy will roll in from the northwest. Likely run right into the booby trap cars will set up. This could decommission a few vehicles, force the rest to switch lanes. We'll cut off any chance of retreat. Set off some planted charges, stop them dead in their tracks. Second read pops a behemoth driver, you'll dive in. Your chum read also requested some badass toys. Offensive turrets, mines, smoke grenades, Ladder, not an issue. But the mines and turrets. Want to weigh in, sift to the deets, or leave prep to me. It's your call. Deets, my man. Walk me through them. Right on. When fixing to go out, guns blazing, best be on your own terms. Slot the shard. Once a drone's airborne, I'll explain the what's, how's, and why's. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Two items of biz nailed down. One's your strategy. Second, the kit we need to set you up with. Gear, what's on the tasty menu? Sitch is simple. Reed wants both mines and turrets. Well, I want a divorce without saying goodbye to a single any. Can't have a cake, but only to stare at it till it goes bad. Short notice, folks. Can hook you up with one or the other, not both. Turrets for firepower, mines for crippling mobility. Your call, boss. Where'd it be good to plan mines? Depends on your chosen tactic. We could leave them some party favors at the Sky Bridge's Inns and at the hotel door. 
Prevent the motherfucker from taking high ground. Makes the most sense if you'll be firing from there. Then again, if you'd rather go street level, get in close, we can pepper the mines over the road surface. So what do you say? We mine in the road or the way up to the terrace? Mind the road. Be looking to get in close, fast as I can. Ask, and you shall receive. Wanna talk strategy? What are our options? Got about as many as there are freely tea rooms in Dogtown. So, not a whole lot. Do best to figure out the position you'll be ambushing them from. Then decide if smoke nades favor you there. How would we use them? We set nades off on the road. For a time, the assholes will be aiming and shooting blind. Hopefully, each other. What about reading me? Want to reduce visibility for us? Newsflash. There's no such thing as perfect solutions. Always some trade-off. We can paralyze them, ease your way into their ranks, but it'll cost you the reduced effectiveness of Reed's covering fire. Decision's yours. We doing nades or not? What the hell? Let's try using them. Should be surprising. Even if they're quick to regroup, it'll buy us time. A gamble. But it can pay off. Like my old man used to say, life's a losing game. But you go all in anyway. Moving on. Your start positions for when the shit hits the fan. Care for a gander? Nah. No, all they need to know. Thanks. Plan's shaping up real nice. Just need a word with Reed now. Hmm. Gonna set up then, and make tracks. As for you two, well, good fucking luck. Ready on my end, you? Almost. This is our jammer. I just need to calibrate it so the signal wasn't too strong. Otherwise, so me could... I just hope we're not too late. Clear to see. You care about her still. Reed? Let's focus on the task at hand. Damn it, what do I gotta do to get you to talk to me? We are talking. <laughs> yeah, see that. Spill it, come on. Do you have any questions about Maxtech? Now's the time. Fuck me. Dodging always your go-to when the talk gets tough. You want to know the truth? Fine. Today, or seven years ago, don't know what exact point I fucked up. The end result's that now we're here while she, she could die. I just pray that she's... She's the one we're saving. The soul me I knew. And not some... I'm fucking scared, V. Scared my grip on everything is slipping. There. Happy? I get it, Reed, but... You can't have everything under control. Not always. Maybe so. But it's good you're here. It matters. It'll all work out. We just have to finish this. Best get to it then. I just gotta jam Max Tax frequencies. Get ready. That thing jamming his pangs of conscience too? Ought to get myself one. What do you want about now? Chick's a half brain dead, half AI controlled zombie. Yet still the gonk's convinced his old partner's trapped inside. That only he can save her. What would the Big J do? Abandon hope? Know what being in the army taught me? Hope dies last, cause the backstabbing bitch makes damn sure she gets you killed first. So you'll warm the fucking grave for her. Saw many thousand yard stairs. Willpower gone, hope hovering for no reason. Wanna bet on miracles? Go ahead. I'll pass. Just talk to her. Huh? 
Body language. I could tell you enabled the relic. So was it her? Did you grab hold of Song? Uh, nah. Still no contact with Somi. In radio silence since all that shit went down at the stadium. Right. Understood. All right. Jam is calibrated. Do you know what to do? Take my position, await the convoy. Going hot when I see the charges pop. We grab Song and head for the expo point on the border. Clean quick, no slip-ups, no trip-ups. And one eye on Song the whole time, got it? Okay, moving to my position. Good luck, Reed. We won't need luck. Хорошо. Жду. I got eyes on the target. All right, they're in, they're in the tunnel. V. Songbird? How the hell did you... I was... not you. And it wouldn't be you. So me. You there? Link's alive? I trusted you, but I won't, won't mistake again. Stay out of my way. I, I warn you. It'll be over soon. We're close by. Here to help. You and the brain. Help. You would break me out of this cage just to shut me in another. Soon I'll regain. Control. Come on, move. Get ready. Songbird made contact. Link's still active. She won't forgive us. Not for. Don't expect her to. We need to focus now. On my mark. Copy that. Let's give him hell. I'm at the truck, Reed. Careful now. Fuck! Who the fuck are you? Sniper! I'm targeting. They're cyberware. I'm gonna try neutralizing it. That's when you swoop in. I'm a hit! Fucking cyber! Talking. Read. Shit. I'll be all right, V. Got the luck of the damned, me. Need any help? I'll manage. Shit was a moment there. I thought we were goners. <laughs> nah, you and me, we bid him bye bye. Go. Stay in hotel. We can't lose her. I'll catch up as soon as I patch myself up. You sure? Go. Save her, V. I'll keep this line open. Regroup with you as soon as I can. Copy that. There were two cars in the road. Two, and you rammed straight into my ass? Looking at a wall with a huge hole in it. Truck rammed clean through. I wasn't moving. You have eyes on her. I look sure like can. I give a shit. No visual You yet. take your ass down to that fucking hole. Get me insurance Six information. Shot. Fuck.
Song's not here. Truck's empty. See anything? Seeing something. Digital residue. Spooky aura. Spectral footprint. You're seeing it thanks to you and Somi's link. The black wall bleed should lead us straight to her. Bring her out alive, V. If I'm to help her, if I'm to help you, I need her alive. She's scorching tech as she passes. Got a sinking feeling she's no longer in complete control of her... self. Might not be song anymore, True. Which means she needs our help. Hurry, V. Find her. She's in bad shape, V. She's actively linked to the Black Wall. She could lose the control she still has at any second. Stay safe. Will do. I'll fix myself up. A group with you as soon as I can. Stay in touch. Gaze into the abyss, you'll find the abyss staring right back at you. And I don't like the look it's given me. The kind that says there ain't no coming back. Sure you want to do this? Why is it always doom and gloom with you? How about what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Try this on for size. Go up against monsters. Best make sure you don't turn into one too. Supposed to be about me, that? About Songbird, you ding-dong. I gotta explain every little fucking thing. Chick sold her soul to the Black Wall Demons. Now she's down there waiting for you. Question is, is she still herself? Guess we're about to find out. Tech logo. Can't be right, can it? Find the terminal. Jack in. I think I might know what this place is. Patching you in. You're in a top secret military facility dating back from the pre data crash days. Sino Shore. The data's decrypting. Hold on. Sinusure. Cyberspace equivalent of a nuke. Militex answer to Arasaka's soul killer. Just the next edition of your average megacorp mega dick contest. Somi mentioned this facility once. Militech net runners taking a plunge into the so-called deep net. Yeah. She said something to the Black Sapphire, mentioned... Big game hunting for rogue AIs. They try to bait them back to the Black Wall, trap them and tame them. So then Song... She's not running from us, V. She wants a permalink to the Black Wall. The sheer volume of data. Ah, bullet! Not fully. Not me. How it feels to lose yourself. Layer after layer. That's why you betrayed. Betrayed me. Why you took me out of the equation. Lost my connection with Reed. That you're doing? Reed stole my life. Once already, I won't let him steal it again. All's better without him.
Stop running and let us help. You... You still trust Reed? It's more... convenient, yes? They lied to you. You're sinking. Grasping at straws as the deluge consumes you. Saul, Myers, their promises didn't help me. Won't help you. You promised to help me too. It... it doesn't matter now. We still want the same thing. And if anyone can help us, it's Reed. Reed lives in a world of half-truths of his own making. Fuck. Come on, Songbird. Songbird? She woke something up down there that did that for her. And here we are going down, 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 the rabbit hole into the heart of darkness. Tell me you've got a plan. Gotta get to Somi before the Blackwall does. To save her. Real noble of you, long as the Blackwall hasn't stripped her to the bone. Cause then we'd be walking straight into a trap. Establishing a link with the relic, but she's not alone. Is it a black ball? Johnny. Johnny. Такое. The fuck was that? Chalk it up to historical necessity. Your plan lacked grit. Mine lost results. Use me. <laughs> Give me a break. What the? You're backed into a corner. Nowhere to run. 
And until I get what I want, in that corner you'll stay. The data from the Sinashore mainframe. Bring me that. Then, and only then. You'll let me go. <laughs> The fuck, Songbird? This some part of your scheme? Showing me that? Showing you? Oh my god! The memory is madness! But he found the one I trusted! The one who then betrayed me! This is my one witness! True, huh? Guess I'll just have to jack you out of these systems. Physical damage. Not likely to even scratch it. <sighs> Gotta be another way. Huh. Under there, maybe. No songbird. This ends now.
time you wake up, it'll be over and done with. Shit, I'm feeling dizzy. I think I might be scared. What if I'm no better? Anesthetic speaking in. All right, so now just lie back and close your eyes. See in the stock? So beautiful. Now count down for me. Start at ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Patients fully sedated. Let's begin. Let's begin. Faithfully serve the new United States of America. So help me God. Ugh. So help me God. What now? Learn, be useful, resourceful. Reed will see to that. And whatever you need, it'll be provided. Welcome to the FIA. Still alive, no thanks to you. Surprised? Hey, Somi. Turn off what, Somi? The core? How? 
So me. Besides, I'll be right beside you. Always. I promise. Two questions. Shoot. Shoot. You regret it? You regret it? Like, ever? Ever? Once, a long while back. Decided then and there I'd never regret it again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Second question? Ever broken a promise? Once. A long while back. Haven't broken one since. Never will. Careful. I'll hold you to that. Disable it. Gotta find it fast. Oh, <laughs> 
is this? How'd you know? <laughs> okay, Capricorn. Make a wish and blow. <laughs> <laughs> Better come true than that fucking horoscope. So me. That you? Some days, I'd open the window, sit on the sill, and just listen to the straight sounds. You know, life happening. Was somehow soothing that. Now I can't hear, I can't feel anything. Can you? So me, this is all a kind of projection. Like the others. Others? Saw you with Reed. Myers. Saw your past. Don't remember? No. The black wall consumes me all. The emptiness grows. I feel it. Fill it with memories. They keep taking them away. So me, in the lab a second ago, that machine, almost, I thought, did you save me? There's a me saving your life, another me talking to you. Time and space are relative here. Here meaning where? My unit in Brooklyn. Told you about it, remember? So me, we're still in the bunker. This place, it's not real. I made so many mistakes, did terrible things. But here, back then, they never mattered. I gave myself one last chance and you stripped me of it. Why? You lied, so me. Stabbed everyone in the back. I had to. I never wanted to join them via. I... You saw... what I became because of them. You saw what I lost. I know what I've done. Know the price I've paid. What you don't know how sorry I am. How much it all hurts. So me. So me. Open. 
The fuck, so me? Been calling you three straight days. Don't worry, got everything under control. Are you fucking kidding me? Passed out in your goddamn chair last week. I spent the night making sure you didn't overheat and die. Yeah, well, no one asked you to. Oh, you even hear yourself? Listen, got this new gig, like earth shaking. If it works out, I'll be the first. Be making history. Now, I just need to focus. I need time, space to think. There it is, your new mantra. But where's it leave us? Know what? Fuck this. I'm done. I lost. Didn't I? Everything I did. The people I hurt. It's meaningless. It matters not at all. Doing my best to survive my life too, Song. We all make wrong turns. We all lose the way. And we kneel to pick up the broken pieces of life. Assemble them. Seek meaning in the whole. This can still end well. For you. For me. V. I'm... I'm sorry. There's something that I... You gotta be shitting me! Not going anywhere with you! Making me leave my home, my friends, everything worth a damn to me! What's ahead is important. Worth so much more. Yeah, no. Hard pass! Dick, Netwatch rolls up here. What happens to your people? We'll trust you. We'll care about you. Netwatch will know. We lent you the eddies for your deck. We let you tap into the subnet of the cafe downstairs. Understand this. I'm the one chance of keeping you safe. Your friend's safe. Also, let me get her. Blackmail? That your play? Don't know me enough. But I do know your type, and I know your answer. Just haven't admitted it to yourself yet. I thought if I could control the future, I'd feel safe always. But I should have looked to the past. To lessons about loss. Repeated. Repeated. I've made many mistakes, V. Too many to count. We all make mistakes. Shit. No, I've made my fair share. Some mistakes are irreparable. So what? Means you gotta quit? Stop fighting for yourself? You can't change the past, so me. With some memories, you turn your back and walk away. It's true, we die this way. Our memories to comfort us? Not gonna let you die, Somi. We'll make it out of here. Together. Thank you. I'll keep this moment as this memory. Just one. Back home. A friend at my side. Before it all goes dark. For one last second, I'll know I wasn't alone. What's happening? The black wall. We have just seconds. What? So me, where? The core. Look for me there and help me. One last time.
copy, Reed. V, finally. Blackwall's lockdown on comms has been lifted. Heading to your location now. Saw me with you? She's here. She's alive. Good. Take care of her. I'll be there shortly. We'll save her yet. Hold out a little longer. You know, that's not true. I see it on your face. So me. I'm... I'm fading, V. Help me out. So me. I... I tried on my own. Don't have to strike. Please. End it. So me, so me, we got the neural matrix. We use it, cure you, cure me. It's all good. We'll be all good. It's too late for me. Blackwall, it's taken almost all of me. Dying is my only hope, only way out. Please be. So me, I, I can't. That's not a solution. Yes. The only solution. I'm begging you, V. No, not a solution, Somi. Please, you don't understand. I can't kill you. No, I just won't. No, please. You're leaving me to a fate worse than... than death. Show me! You're all right. It'll be over soon. You'll get some rest. said a word the whole way. What's eating you? Don't know. I don't know, V. Wanna talk? You know, about what happened. We did good. Did the right thing. We'll get her help. But I can't. 
I can't help stop seeing the same scene. Like it's burned inside my dome. We're in a car, moving, leaving Brooklyn. She refuses to turn, look back. No tears, no sobbing, just a statement. Seems like you saved my life. She doesn't believe it. I can hear she doesn't believe it. Would she say the same now? Think he did. Think he saved her then. Hope we'll save her again now. We're in the same boat. Clock's ticking for both Song and me. Just hope the FIA's up to the task. Of course. Let's go. Out of the car. Now. Stand the fuck down. Can't you see she needs help? V, I need you to help her. I got it. Right here, sir. Easy does it. Area secured. All clear for landing. So me. We'll help. This will be over soon. Take good care of her. V, the president would like a word. Hello, Rosalind. V. Congratulations. You did fine work. V, you risked your life to help me. To help our nation. That merits recognition. Uh, didn't expect this. Thank you, V, for your aid. I won't forget this. So what happens now? We say our goodbyes. You will return to Night City. Take pride in what you've achieved here, V. What about the help you promised me? The medal is purely symbolic, of course. Your actual compensation will be more practical. Reed will fill you in on the details. When Somi's better, you'll send word. Not to worry. She'll recover. Okay, but you'll let me know, right? Let me talk to her. 
I'm afraid that will be impossible. National security demands all that has transpired here will be classified top secret. Good thing it'll be Reed. Because I sure as shit can't stomach much more of you. You should work on how you express gratitude, V. Good luck, nonetheless. We'll have our eye on you. set to go she asked me once if I I'd always be by her side when she fucked up I said I wouldn't miss it for the world she didn't believe me she just smiled she shook her head she wasn't buying it I could tell then she dropped this bomb Lost all my friends when you recruited me, she says. Now don't you become my enemy. That's all I ask. I wonder now if she was right not to believe me. Or did I keep my promise after all? Fucking hot. You know, Somi got the same medal. Just after her first FIA op. She gave it to a homeless man on 21st. The guy just pinned it to his jacket like it was nothing and asked for spare change. Damn it, V. Just damn. Reed, if Myers is lying, if she doesn't save, so me. Means we gave Song something worse than death. You think I don't know that? The FIA will save her. She'll be all right. Listen, I need a few days to put together what we promised you. I trust that's no problem. Sure. I can wait. A few days won't kill me. Medal and coin from Mize, and tokens of important memories, never of regrets. <laughs> sure. If ever there are moments I chalk this up to some crazy dream, they'll serve as proof that we really did go to hell and back. <laughs> so thanks, Reed. You know, ever since the start of this whole FIA business, been trying to pin down a strange feeling. This fear gnawing at my insides, yelling louder and louder, yelling that I should delta as far away as possible, think I finally figured out what it was. Demons of your past come tugging at your balls? Tenacious, the motherfuckers. 
some stories don't get a happy ending for the credits roll. Leaving questions you're never gonna find the answers to. Questions you'll lug around till the day you croak. <sighs> Sounds about right. Better believe it. Story's over, Johnny. You're beating a dead horse. What if it's not actually dead? Past's the past. Do yourself a favor and let it rest in peace. Uh, one way or another, shit always ends up fucked. First Saburo, then Yorinobu, now Myers. Got a knack for getting in dangerous peeps' ways, you know? For real, though. How's it feel, you know, with all that's gone down? So me didn't have to die back there. Did what I thought was right. Right for you? For her? For me? Song will get better. It'll work out for the best in the end. Oh, what? How's that? Shit so hollow could swear I heard an echo. Well, at least you got a medal. Not helping, Johnny. Not making your life any easier, I know. But thinking about Songbird, about Reed, finally starting to see why I did all the shit I did. Why I went AWOL during the war, then set off on the warpath against Arasaka. Why I called Carrie a fucking pussy so many times. Think I finally understand why, despite all that's gone down. I feel for Reed. Cause we're one and the same. Idealists fighting for a cause, blind to the fact that it'll put everyone we care about in the ground. Only thing sets us apart is this faith in the system, in its principles. Except the line between believing in an ideal and being plain naive is, well, Pretty fucking thin. That's where you're nothing alike. Reed did everything he could to keep Song alive. Sacrificed all, even himself. You, on the other hand... Guess I was never chasing ideals. Not really. Life. That's what I was running from. And? Still running? Does it matter? I'm still breathing. Sort of. Just don't know what the fuck for. Gotta keep reminding yourself. I'll start by taking a good look at myself in the mirror. Already know I'm gonna fucking hate what I see. All right. Good talk. Get up. Those thoughts, feelings... Didn't expect that from you, Johnny. Probably because you think you've got me all figured out. No, just, uh... Didn't realize that under that prick rocker boy exterior, you're... Nothing but a big ol' softie. Yeah. Fuck you, too. open.
grab a seat. First met here. Same exact court. Different ball game. Can't deny that. I called you because I never got a chance to thank you. We did what we had to. Show me a live. Good work. So what about So Me? How's she doing? The changes in her nervous system. Entropic breakdown. They were too far gone. The Matrix didn't take. It's so now in storage, being kept for you. We had to resort to alternate means, but So Me will live. I believe she might even return to active duty. Gotta hope these alternate means of yours do the trick. We made her a promise. Told her she'd be okay. I said she'd get the best care available. A chance to make up for her mistakes, mend her ways. I can't do any more than that. Yeah, I know, you're right. Did what we had to. Only thing we could do to give Somi a second chance. Somehow keep her safe. I'm with you on that. Just can't help wondering if... he couldn't have done more for her. V, Songbird is an FIA agent in critical condition in an FIA clinic. In the care of our top specialists. There's nothing more I can do for her. It's fully out of my hands. Meaning what? Myers has summoned me back to Washington. Lang Leo Glinko is probably my next post. Desk job. To start, for a while, plucking promising operatives out of a pool of new recruits. <laughs> You'll plain rot behind that desk. Not for you to worry about. I'll be fine. What if you tossed him your ID? Cut away from all of it for good. Shit, I mean, just get in your car and slam the chew, too. A few days down the road, your head'll clear. A few months more, you'll see a whole new life open up for you. I'm going back to Washington. I have a few things to wrap up. But thanks all the same for the advice. Saul, are you hearing yourself? You're in a rut, stuck, full circle again. How much crap will you agree to eat this time? As much as it takes. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fine. Do what you want. But if you need me again, don't wait seven years to come calling. Cause I just don't got anywhere near that much time left. Mm-hmm. All right. Take care, Reed. I'll drop you a signal once our neurosurgeons are set. Take care, V. I'm gonna hang back a little. Our neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Time for the next leg of the journey. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just... Don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Shit was clear as the summer sky already. Do you think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelled. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor.
something that might work versus a surgical procedure. The choice is clear, Johnny. Raising Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. How else do you see it playing out? It's my body. Hmm. And it's my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Good hands. I'm gonna hold you to that. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. In another new lease on life. Mind opening the door? Wanna enjoy the view. Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? Human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you're ever tossed back in again. I'm sure I'll handle it. Slipped up occasionally. Learned a buttload over the last few weeks. Interesting. Cause I see someone who's come all this way without learning shit. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. The hell you want from me, Johnny? Acknowledgement, decency, a sprinkling of regret, and an apology. Want an apology for me choosing to save my own life? No, V. An apology for fucking ending mine. Live, Johnny. Been clear about that from the start. There were options. Could have gone with Alt, blasted our way into Makoshi. But I didn't. Can't fault me for picking the safer route. You want me to act like this? Us was just a big nothing burger. 
and will just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. You deserve it. Going out like this. How the fuck so? Enlighten me. For starters, you're a narcissist and a sociopath. Only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong, pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. Know the worst part, though? Nah, but guessing you do. Probably think yourself a revolutionary, a fucking hero. Hate to break it to you. You're just a sad excuse for a man who thinks the world's gotta suffer along with him. That's your legacy, Johnny. Remember that as you go. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? About sums it up, yeah. Said my piece. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero, then you don't know jack shit about me. Ты что, не спал? Даже если нет, пора вставать. Ви, ты меня слышишь? Наконец-то, Хом! Все будет хорошо, Ви. Вот и видишь. Всегда хорошо, когда есть те, кто поддержит. Семья там, например. Береги себя, Ви. Может, и ты свою найдешь в Найт-Сити. Ладно, увидимся. Ви, это были не сны. Это были воспоминания. Увидимся по смерти. They're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? Think I... in here. And I can talk. Good. About time. Read. That you seem different somehow. Even almost look like. <clears throat> Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. I'm no exception. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. Was told you got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So you're... Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? 
Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the Angram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. You're shitting me. Believe me, I wish I could have said it was all good. Seventy fucking nine? You take me for a ride. This some sick joke? <laughs> Who we say it is? Or just admit... I don't know, just... You don't know. You aren't sure. Whatever. I wish I could help you, V. But I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps want to help me. Never been able to. Why? Are you... you, you alright? I need... I need... Need some air. Oh, legs are jelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preem, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, Aaron Rover? I know you're trying to help. But you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed? This... story... We do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid.
I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you hey don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? What? Write me off that fast? <laughs> Gotta admit, I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave. But how are you... Uh, why? So, this netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Sir, did you happen to hear my question? I ask if you find the liquor I procured for your friend suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. They could love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional newcomer. Might I ask how you feel? No, hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of it. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True? Or big fat <laughs> Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. 
Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing whack a corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. Doesn't matter. Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. I shall await here for your return. Better get going. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network right. Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic. <laughs> so good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule. No drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty Sharp. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me. What's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment. So what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be him again. You know what I mean? What are you trying to say, exactly? The hell happened, Vic? So many years resisting. Let them buy you out now? Why? They piled the pressure on, V. I mean, anonymous threats of arson included. Over and over. I ran out of options. I had to do what was best for the clinic. 
Always got a choice, Vic. Always. If that's the case, I'd like to believe I chose well. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of, of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, <laughs> sensible as ever. And with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening Said kind. you can do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. See, Vic? Told you. No going back. I'm limited. Fuck. <laughs> and you're a Corpo Ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Tyler. Well, was on my way out. So, Ugh. V, you can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just walked out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Drop it, let me alone. Hmm. Uh, 
Nope. Show me the money. Got it all wrong. Nomad. That's who I am. Oh shit. Faith's all around these days. You rapping? Even better. Booyah! Ah! now. Are you in one piece? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but... I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Man, of all people. Never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Um, Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. Decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Could use a smoke, too. Here. <sighs> Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty... Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A 
face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Dunno, Misty. Feel like I'm at a dead end. Could turn on my heel, choose a different path, I know. Not ready for that. Not yet. You can choose. Enjoy it. You're a free man. Once you make up your mind, I really hope you find... joy. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. Heard you back in town. I cannot deny I am pretty fucking impressed. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong, door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City, and in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies, we tried to capture Arasaka Tawa. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he.
A.V., I wouldn't mind knowing how you manage it. Langley awaits if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? A.V., it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that?